Let me start with an introduction. I am Obuefi Jidofo Anumba, the Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. And here with me is His Royal Highness, Prince Nelson, the Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. Young Escobar. What in the God's name are you doing here? Oh, you know my prince. That means our journey is already successful. Your journey is not successful and can never be successful. Now, all of you, get out of this palace. Now! Maureen, your noise is becoming too much. Have you forgotten who I am? Or have you forgotten what I am capable of doing? On the contrary, young Escobar. I remember who you are. I know what you did. And I know what you can do. To think that I have moved on with my life and forgotten everything you did to me. Now you have the F country, the audacity to walk into my father's house with your ugly face is what I still don't understand. But let me make one thing clear to you. No matter where you hide, young Escobar, I will hunt you <coughs> down. I am not here to extend words with you. My healing process lies in the hands of your sister, Princess Chiso. And that's why I'm here. Is she home? To think that you believe that I will hand over my sister to you makes you a dreamer. Like I said, get out of my father's compound now. You are here. It is not hallucination as, as I was made to believe. You are real. <sighs> now get into your room and lock yourself up. Get out of this palace right now. I am standing here in my capacity as the Crown Prince of Dioka. For that reason, you have no right to discharge the one I have come to see. I have every right to ask you Sister, to leave this compound please. right now. Sister, please. You are not welcomed here. Get out! Sister, these are royal guests. Will you Sister. shut that thing you call them out? I said get into your room before I make you do it. As the head princess of Ikenga Kingdom, I command you to take this girl into her room. Now! Touch me! Get out of my father's palace. Why is it that a man like you is not actually seeing things the way they are supposed to be seen? In the Oka Kingdom, we have laid down procedure that people must follow for them to emerge as king. Somebody who has not been exposed to the Ogidi of this kingdom, how can he possibly be your crown prince? I don't understand this. In fact, uh, it's obvious that all the men of the council I'm not seeing from the point of view. They know what I am saying. The others are aware of this, and that is why they want to settle him with the throne of this kingdom. But I want you to go and mark it somewhere. Nelson will never rule as king in this town. I am going to resist him. And I'm going to resist him with even the last drop of my blood.
have received them. They're mad. I mean, you want you, you, you want use me shy for these camps? My friend, shut up. You see this walk? They want to carry on for head, not for here. So that I won't put you for trouble, they don't do like this. See for this campus, mind your business. If you love your life, mind your business. Nobody should bear the power of life. For your information, Namibi Escobar. Nobody is using for these camps. You don't understand? This seat where you sit down, many people don't sit here. How about I go buy my mother? The next time you stress me, I swear I will chop you into pieces. No jokes. Ask questions. Namibia is Cuba. You may forget every other thing. But do not forget you are royalty. You are a princess for crying out loud. And you have royal blood flowing in your veins. So behave as one. I don't understand why you feel the need to remind me I'm a princess. Have I not been carrying myself as a princess? No, Chisum, you have not. You have been behaving as if this is the end of the world and that is not acceptable to me. You know, sometimes I really do not understand you. Because we are talking about our father, the king, who is lying critically ill in a hospital bed. And from the look of things, it appears the doctors are helpless. And you expect me to not be bothered? Quit being negative, Chiso. Why don't you try positivity? Yes, our father is sick. He's lying on the bed in the hospital. I am aware of that. And the doctors are doing everything in their power to make sure that he comes out alive. So why don't you try positivity for once? Hello, this is Maureen, the Adese of Ikenga Kingdom. Yes. Listen, I am calling to tell you that the entire kingdom, when I mean the entire kingdom, the people of Ikenga Kingdom are relying on you to make sure that Igwe Obasi of Ikenga Kingdom comes out alive. Oh, really? You know, like they say, there are so many sides to everything. So how about you doing your job? And when you are done doing your job, we can talk about the other thing. Obina. What I don't understand here is that you don't even know the politics that is playing out in the Kinga Kingdom. Listen to me. You know who is my brother. And I have a privileged information on the politics that is playing out here. Phillips, what is the matter with you? What is my business with politics and men in council? I'm in love with Princess Maureen. And I've decided to make her my wife. She's the one that brings me to the palace. And not politics. I know that. That's exactly where the problem is with you, Obina. Listen, let me tell you one thing that you don't understand. If you had allowed me to land, you would have understood the fact that Princess Maureen never wanted her name to be mentioned. Because she happens to be the politics that is playing out here. What do you mean? Good, I'm going to tell you. 
the king has no son. And the king had succeeded in securing an unpopular agreement with the men in council. Princess Maureen would become the queen when the king dies. Phillips, I've never heard such a thing before. How? Where? And that's why I said it's an unpopular agreement. She was going to exercise all the powers of the king. And that power happens to be her obsession for the now. Obina, what are you not understanding here? Marriage is the least thing on Maureen's mind. Don't you get it? Phillips, all you are saying may be true. But the love I have for her will conquer all the politics. <sighs> yes. Obina, you're my friend and the truth has to be told. Secure or not that babe, and then move on with your life. Why trying to have dealings with a politician who probably doesn't have a single respect for anyone? Is that what you want? <coughs> Phillips, she may not have respect for anyone, but she has respect for me, and that is what is most important. I love her. I have made up my mind on making her my wife and there is nothing you or any other person will do to change my position so right let us just end it here and now are you for real please it's time to drink from what you're saying it is very clear you don't know how Joker is dragging you on Joker platform, Progressive Union. They are saying you are scheming to be king. And Chifu Kuko, you know that is not good. Well, my very good friend, Ikuku, I am going to tell you this. I am not bothered. I am not bothered with what people say on social media or what they say on the platform of the Progressive Union because they are speaking from the point of ignorance. And a man like me should not allow that to bother him. But everything they're saying is very, very clear. <laughs> From what I'm saying too, you are against Prince Nelson because you want to be king. I am not going to allow you to do that lie. Listen, Nelson is a stranger. He's not my problem. He is not my problem because he's a stranger completely. And I see it as an insult, even mentioning his name. Uh, Chief Okon, why are you not going too far? Because Prince Nelson we're talking about here is born of the king, which automatically qualifies him as the crown prince of this Kijoka kingdom. Even the elders know that, which is why they are planning to install him as the king. Why are you calling him a stranger? I am calling him a stranger because indeed he is a stranger. Why is it that a man like you is not actually seeing things the way they are supposed to be seen? In the kingdom, we have laid down procedure that people must follow for them to emerge as king. Somebody who has not been exposed to the ogidi of this kingdom, how can he possibly be your crown prince? His father. I believe he's aware. And that is why he's, he technically avoided this, the issue of him being exposed to the ogre. How can you possibly refer to such a man as your crown prince? Chief Okoko, I, I, I have to tell you the truth. You're bringing a new twist into this. I don't understand this. In fact, uh, it's obvious that all the men of the council I'm not seeing it from the point of view. They know what I am saying. The issue of the matter is that he has been able to he has been able to humble them because of his affiliation with a lot of court groups on campus. Are you not aware that nursing is a courtist who can kill at the slightest provocation? 
The others are aware of this, and that is why they want to settle him with the throne of this kingdom. But I want you to go and mark it somewhere. Nursing will never rule as king in this town. I am going to resist him. And I'm going to resist him with even the last drop of my blood. My friend. Why? Why are you here with me? You're not talking. Is anything the matter? Are you a prince? Oh. 
I wish to go back to my father and my kingdom. Do you also wish to go back? Are we dead? The forest of death! Royal Forest. Ah! You finally uttered a word. You can talk? Oh. oh. How appealing. The moment I set my eyes on you. Something left me. Really? Yes. What could that be? It's 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 like like a fire. It's not that good. Please. Take me back. I am not ordinary. Um. I think you need some rest. Come with me. Please. She's coming. Who is coming? The once powerful one who got compromised. For her to come here means she has regained her powers. What does she want from me? I'm confused. Shh, my love. Shh. Don't say anything. Shh. Stop. Please. Please, my love. Chisom, I need to heal you. I am here because of your father. Make this work easy for me and show yourself. Voice is very thick. Please do not say anything again. She cannot trace us if you say nothing.
son. The Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better now? Sit with your mother. My son. I want you to listen to me. You are not insane. You are not mad. You are not even into narcotics. You are the wisest. The greatest. The Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. This is your glory. This is your throne. This is your honor. You are the one that will take over this throne and reign forever as the King of the Oka Kingdom. Mother. Yes, my son. Why is it that each time the people of Dioka, the cabinet chiefs, and the elders in council, each time they come together and talk about making me king, something mysterious will happen and I will end up seeing myself in a royal forest with an unknown princess. What is the meaning of that? Chief Okonkwo has really dealt with me. Chief Okonkwo has dealt with me. He wants this throne at all costs. I want you to forget about him. He's not capable of doing anything. He does not exist. He is as good has nothing. So don't let his threats get at you. There's no way the last born of the Oka Kingdom can become the king. It is not possible. Don't allow his threat get at you, my son. Be brave. This is your throne. The elders of this kingdom have traveled to Bodamo here to get his here. In the next three days, he'll be here with us. And he's coming with this solution that we all are waiting for. Mom, two great DPS have failed already. This one will not fail, my son. He won't fail. Let's be hopeful. This one is not just is here. He's also a healer and he's anointed from the whole room. I'd rather sink this palace with everyone in it than watch Chifu Kunkwa take what rightfully belongs to me. Over my dead body will he wear the crown of my late father. It will never happen. And I am solidly behind you, son. Why now? Now that the prince is preparing to come see father, why must it be now he will become so sick to the point he cannot even stand? Wait a minute, Sonia. Now let me understand something. Must you exhibit your selfishness all the time? Like every single time you have to be selfish. I beg your pardon. What do you mean by selfishness? Should I understand it to mean that father's sickness is actually not your concern? 
No, you are more concerned about the person who is supposed to receive your supposed suitor. Right? Huh? You you have a complete misunderstanding of this. No, I don't. Mm -mm, Chiso, I do not. Because I know exactly what is running in that small head of yours. You are just concerned about who is, who is going to receive your suitor when they come. You're misjudging. No, you it's are... not fair. I am trying so hard. So hard to comport myself as the first daughter of this kingdom. But you being selfish and your nonchalant attitude is beginning to get me angry. Your father is sick, Chisom. Your father is at the point of death and we're not even sure he's going to make it out. And here you are talking about somebody to receive your suitor. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You misjudge him. No, you misjudge your stupid self. Gosh! I am so disappointed in you. Excuse me! Why can't my own sister ever see things from my point of view? Even for once, just once! <sighs> now that she is gone, can I talk? My love. You see, I found peace with you. I found this peace and inner joy beyond comprehension. Inasmuch as I want to return to my kingdom, a bigger part of me wants to stay here with you and enjoy this peace forever. But I have to leave someday. I told you how I found myself here, right? Yes, you did. And I told you mine. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can remember was having a crucial meeting with some men. Some men? So, who was that priestess? She's a worthless priestess. Yes. She's a worthless priestess that is not worth our time. I would rather we talk about ourselves. <laughs> you are like a joyful river flowing in my head. And I love every bit of it. As a matter of fact, I don't want it to stop. So trust me, I will definitely come back for you. If this is not our death, I will love to see you again. And I shall wait for you. What a man, unique unto himself, truly one of a kind. <laughs> the only man I love with everything I have. But the question is, who wouldn't love him? I mean, who? There is a bad news, or should I say 
Tell me slightly bad information. What is it? The king of Ikenga is sick. I will not be able to host us in his palace. This is the first time we will be traveling this far into that kingdom. And it's unfortunate for us. In that case, I shall um, go alone. My prince, please, you have to wait. Let our great healer attend to you first. Hello. My prince. I know the princess I always see in my trance. She has absolutely nothing to do with the king of the kingdom. My son, but you just called her a princess. But we are going to see her, not her father. She is important to my health. And you know it. We cannot enter into the kingdom without prior information to the king. My prince, these are more spiritual than we think. Let us follow the process. No. Oh no, we have written a letter of notice that we are coming to Ikengaland. To the palace to be precise. So what are you saying? Or is my health not paramount to you? Um, my son, please calm down. Eh? You have to calm down. Relax. No. I understand what you know we say. No. There are strict protocols to some of these things. It's not making sense to me. I've heard it up to here. I can't wait no more. I know the girl I always see in my trance. We fell in love fine and good. We must see her at all costs. Unless you are trying to tell me that my health is not important to you people. No, 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 Prince. That's not what we mean. Oh no. Oh no. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I will travel to Ikenga Kingdom and I will meet with the princess. The first daughter will preside over the meeting on behalf of her father. Please, whatever we can do, let's be fast about it, as you can see. My son is losing his mind. Please. It is well, my queen. Nedi. Hmm? I want you to tell us what you told me in the kitchen. I want others to hear. Hey. Cynthia. Hmm? Why are you dragging this? Why? I am not dragging anything. What you said to me is unconsumable by me. It can't go down my throat. So I want them to hear too. Hi. Cynthia, did I do anything wrong in telling you my mind? You don't understand. See, these things just keep coming and coming, making me restless, disturbing my head. And, and I told you. Just hold it there. What? Hold it there. You said something to me. I didn't sit well with me. That's why I called everybody out here. So that you can say it. Just say it. Tell us that that bugged your mind. We want to hear it. Ned. Eh? Tell us. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. People should wait. Ned. Eh? What is it? Can you tell us? Eh? I sense danger. I sense danger. Cynthia, I regret telling you this, honestly. And I will never speak about it again. I don't want to talk about it. For real? You want thunder to strike you. You said something to me and I'm not comfortable with it. Now you don't want to say it to others, Eric. Okay, you wonder when they will say, ah, who did you tell? You say it's Cynthia. They will not call me. No. Hey, hey, hey. Thunder will not strike her for anything. What's wrong with you? Eh? Why do you like problems? Why do you like quarrels? If she don't want to say it, then you tell us. Yes, huh? tell us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and expose her here and now. Are you talking to me? You said I like troubles mm -hmm. and fights. Uh -huh. Was I talking to you? Are you unnerdy? Uh -huh. In fact, I am done with this drama. Hey. By the time the princess and the elders will call you, 
You will come and say what you said to me. Hey, uh, uh, Cynthia. Why you don't call my name? C Cynthia, please. Uh, you will not do this. Cynthia. Don't call my name. Cynthia. Don't call my name. Cynthia, come back now, please. Cynthia. I, I, I Cynthia. Hey, let her go. I am finished. Oh, I am finished. Oh, who is doing this to me? Who is tormenting me? This mouth will put me in trouble. My mouth will put me in trouble. What is it now? Hey. What is it? Why can't you tell us? Well, I trust Cynthia. She will tell me. Mm. Eh. Ah. Let them go. But Ned, eh? repeat after me. Your mouth will not kill you in this palace. My mouth will not kill me in this palace. Again? My mouth will not kill me in this palace. What is, what is, what is wrong with you? I keep telling you to stay away from Cynthia and Ify. They don't mean good for you. Hey. They are jealous. They are jealous that you are dating a Jay Z in this palace. I don't know why you don't listen to me. Mm. Eh? Okay, now tell me. What did you tell Cynthia in the kitchen? Mm. Eh? I want me to tell you. Eh? I promise you will not tell anyone, no. I don't want trouble. I promise. You can count on me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know that Princess Maureen poisoned her father, the king? Shimo! Your Majesty, you should have remained in the hospital, asking the doctors to bring you back home. Uh, it's not the best decision. Oh no. I am the king. Taking me to the hospital in the first place was a mistake. Father. This is what I don't understand. The one that is sick should be at the hospital. Father, why do you keep being stubborn? Why? No. Your <laughs> Majesty. The tears of my daughter hurts me so much. I want to talk with you alone. Take her away since she has decided not to stop crying. No, Father, no. No, Father. I am going to stay by your side. I will stay by your side and beg death not to take you away from me, Father. Father, you, 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 you promised to meet my future husband. You remember the man I told you about? He is alive, Father. He is real. You promised you were going to meet him. You promised to meet my children, your grandchildren. Father, you said you will bless them. Please don't take that away from us. Please, Father, please. I beg you. Please. Father, please. Hello. Father, please, Father, I beg you. Father, please. I can't. Father, please. Father, I beg you. Father, don't do this to me, please, please. Father, please. Oh no, don't touch my, me. My princess, my princess, please. My Father, princess. please. Father. You need to Father, let me talk to me. you. Father, please. please. Speak with him, please. I want to speak to my father. I, you will still speak with him. Please. Father, please. I don't know who I want to talk with you alone. Father, please, I beg you. Father, please. Princess, please! Father, please, I beg you! Father, please, no, don't leave me! Princess, Father, I beg please. you! You need to go. You need to leave. <laughs> Let me discuss with you. <laughs> Maureen, my first daughter, must not see my cups. Your Majesty, 
I know the custom of this land. I know. Since the gods have refused to answer my prayers and bless me with sons, I am proud of my daughters. Yes. I am proud of my daughters. Your Majesty. Yes. Whatever my daughter Maureen tells you, do it. She is strong and capable to rule this kingdom in my stead. She is not like her sister, who is weak and faint-hearted. Yes, Your Majesty. Your daughter will become the queen as soon as she depart from us. Oh no. Yes. If you would ask me, I would say that there is no sense in leaving father here. Look at him. He is not getting any better. Taking him to a hospital where a team of specialist doctors can attend to him is the right thing we should be doing. Please. My daughter, I totally agree with you. Hmm. But if we do that, the mischief makers in the Kenga Kingdom will start saying our king is defied, that our king is a defied king. Oh no, who cares about these so called mischief makers? Who? If father should die, who will they call names? Please. <sighs> The most important thing we should focus on right now is to make sure father recovers. Will you just shut up your mouth and let me think? How many times have I warned you with the stupid behaviors of yours that undermines royalty? Hmm? Do you still not understand me, sister? Do you not? Father is the reason we are royalty. If father should die, do you think we will still be royal? That is not going to die. And will you stop talking about death? Huh? This is why I don't get you involved in critical decisions in this palace. Because your IQ is clearly low. Extremely low. That is an insult to my person and I will not take it. Enough. And if you don't take it, what Enough. will you do? Enough! No, are you going to square up to me? Uh or do you want me to lock you up in your room? Enough. Enough of this class behavior and the gross ineptitude. What is wrong with you, Paul? This is when the time to fight. The doctors have not given up on you. So why do you do it? Why do you give up? Do you people give up? Oh no, please, please, can we get to the matter at hand? Look, I, this should stop. With all due respect, oh no. don't you ever raise your voice at me. <sighs> Thank you. You people are fighting. Trying to give up on him. What? Why? I don't like this. Truth. Truth is like a seed planted beneath the earth. At the right time, it will spring up. Dinka, what do you mean by that thing you just said? One cannot be his own enemy. One cannot fight against himself. A brother who battles his brother in war can never be a victor. I am only be careful with the choice of my words so that I can go home with my head hanging on my shoulders. It is left for you elders to discern for the gray hair of an old man should not only speak of his age, but also for discernment. This man is getting on my nerves. Be careful. You might not leave this palace if you keep confusing me anymore. 
Dinka, all we want is for our crown prince to be completely healed. We don't want to start pointing fingers at any particular person. Not now, please. But he has already found a healer. An oasis of tranquility and calmness lies in the princess. Was that not what the priest said? That is what the chief priest said. She knows the truth. What truth and secret are you talking about? Huh? To remain relevant, one must say anything, do anything, and act anything. Deception is very rare and very hard to maintain. You are confusing me, Dimon. You are confusing me. Did he also tell you that he can't be king? She knows the truth and the secret. What truth again are you talking about? Will you take this advantage out of here? Take it out of here before, uh, 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 be, 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 before I can locate you. What nonsense are you talking about? God! God! My grace. Seize this man until he says what I want to hear. Thank you, baby. Look it. Let's go. Move. Nonsense. Why can't I be king? No, tell me, why can't I be king? Am I not a scholar junior? Is Mandela not my cousin? So why can't I be king? No, okay, you tell me. You tell me, why can't I be king? Am I not a scholar junior? Is Mandela not my cousin? So why can't I be king? 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 Why? Why can't I be king? I am Escobar Junior and Mandela is my cousin. Mandela is my cousin. What? Tell me, so why? So, 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 why? Why? You are very, very stupid. Come here, why can't I be king? You, 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 don't move out. Stop there. Stop there. Tell me, I am Escobar Junior. Mandela is my cousin. But why can't I be king? Why can't I be king? Why can't I be king? What is going on? Why? You shouldn't have allowed him to drink a life. And that's enough for no That's enough! What do you mean? Ibibo went and brought a madman to my palace. You all conspired to bring a madman to my palace and he ended up confusing everyone. That's Excuse me. This is more spiritual than everyone think. Do you even understand the gravity of what you did? How can you even say that Princess Morin poisoned the king? It is here, honestly. I don't know how these things happen. No. I, you, you won't even understand. Do you know that something will just register in my spirit? And then a higher force will now be pushing me to speak out, to say it. And when I don't say it, I, it, it, it now seems as if I am going crazy or mad. And I will have no option than to say it. it. It is not my fault though. Are you sure you are not possessed? Uh -uh. Why would you say that? I am not possessed and nothing is wrong with me. You just said that some forces that you can't even explain 
are pushing you to be saying things that you can't defend. Please, AJZ, I am not possessed. Nothing is wrong with me. Besides, I am not even lying. Princess Maureen poisoned her father, the king. She did. You know what? Look, we are not going to continue on this argument. All right? Princess Maureen will eventually hear this. And she's going to order for your arrest. Huh? Neddy. Eh? You, she will kill you. Hey. You are going to die. Hey, the more reason I am scared though. That is the only reason I am scared. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to die, honestly. It's okay. Calm down, okay? Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to smuggle you out of this palace tonight. Smuggle me out? To where? Have you forgotten that I am just an orphan? I have nowhere to go. I, I, I don't have anywhere to go to. Calm down. I will take you to my grandmother. She will be able to help you. Help me? Do you not mean to say that I have a problem? A dizzy? That's not what I mean. But yes, you need help. And she will provide that. I don't. I'm not going to allow you to remain in this palace and die. So I'm smuggling you out tonight. I will not die. What are you talking about? Cynthia, I begged you. I begged you not to tell the princess. Why? Oh, spare me that. Spare me that. Why are you even raising your voice at me? My love, see, I didn't tell anybody anything. Let it go what she deserved. I never mentioned anything to anyone. I promise, I didn't. Really? Yes. Let me correct this. I am not your love. I can never be. Never! Then watch me tell the princess what Neddy said about her. Hmm. Who cares? You cannot threaten me with that. Because you have already told her. Yes, you did. But just pray. Pray. Nothing happens to that poor innocent girl. Just pray. Nonsense. It's, it seems like your one day have started again, eh? I didn't tell anybody anything. But wait, why is it why is it feeling look at me? Wait now. Robin, is everything okay? Mama, who is my father? She will give me. What kind of question is that? I've lived in this place all my life. Thinking that I'm home. Mama, who is my father? Where does it come from? Where? My friend, will you shut up? Shut your mouth! Look at this one. I am here for us to talk about you getting married to Princess uh, Maureen and giving me a grant and you're here saying Bangladesh. Are you okay? Is everything, is everything okay with you? Standing here is Obina, 35 years old. An evil man who doesn't know where he comes from. Yes. Obina. I, I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. Your father is dead. He died when you were even in my womb. You told me this a million times. Same old story. Yes. So you don't know where he comes from. Obin, I said I don't know. I don't, I don't know his relation, I don't know his family, I don't know his relation, I don't know anywhere that has a clue yes, where he's from. you got pregnant for him. Oh! You got pregnant for a man you don't know where he comes from. Wait, Obina, do you realize I'm your mother? You're hurting me. I told you this thing happened once. It was just once. We met as coppers. We were not close, we were never in love. It just happened. Out of the excitement of our personal night party. We were both drunk. We did a whole lot of nasty things together and it happened. The next thing I heard was he was dead. He died on his way returning to the east. The car he was ran under a trailer and everyone in the car died. Obina, why are you doing this? 
I told you this thing before. Why are you bringing it up again after many years? Why? How am I supposed to know where he's from? I don't know. No, you shouldn't know. Should you know? No! Standing here is Obina. Hi. A lost evil man who is a product of one nasty night. Product of alcohol. <sighs> one nasty night of excitement. You once told me that my father is not a house man. Am I correct? Ubin, I did. Good. But it is the truth. I'm He's an evil man. From where exactly? Anambara, Imo, Ebony, Enugu, Abia. You name it! As Jess said, I don't know. Ah. Mother, I would pretend you never told me this story. This incoherent story, I'll act like you never told me. I would act like a dummy. You... Yes. You got pregnant for a man you don't know where he comes from. Now you can't even find your way back to Castina, where you served and met and had one nasty night. I produced Obina. <sighs> the secretariat is still there. You don't know. Obina. Yes. The school is no more. No more. Haram are taking over the place. How am I supposed to know where, where? How am I supposed to know how to get to the family? I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Oh my God, Obina, why are you stressing me? Why? I'm telling you the truth. Will I be lying to my own son? Uh, Cynthia, <clears throat> speak before the princess. Tell her that you told me in morning. No, I came to you in private. Why are you trying to put me on the spot? Don't be afraid, my dear. Nothing will happen to you. Hmm? I just want to mask the truth. Speak. All right? Speak. My friend, will you speak and stop shaking like a mini pig? I, I told you what Neddy told me in confidence. She confided in me that Princess Maureen was the one who poisoned the king. Yes. What? what? Yes. Um. Hello. Yes, that was what I heard this morning, and that's why this meeting was convened. I just want to unmask the truth. Unmask oh, what rubbish truth? Oh no! <gasps> Hold on, oh no! Don't tell me you actually believe this lies from this ants. Don't tell me you believe this bullshit coming from them. The doctors earlier told me that our king was poisoned. <gasps> ah. And not long. So some other person is. is oh no, can, please, can you, can you just stop already? Can you stop already? What nonsense are we talking about here? Are you trying to tell me that I, Princess Maureen or Basi, poison my father? <laughs> the queen of the Kenda kingdom. How did I go wrong with you? No. No, I'm... What did I do to you that you would want to destroy my image in this palace? I am sorry, my princess. It, it is not intentional. I didn't even know when I said it. Maybe I was drunk. I, I am sorry. Oh no, did you listen to her? Did you just hear the person you brought before me to judge a case, what she said? Did you hear her? Did you listen? I'm listening. I'm listening. And you aren't. I don't know who sent you. 
I don't know why you have chosen to destroy my image in this palace. No, no. But let me tell you something. If there is any blood in you, she will cry blood. And I will stamp on you now. Get out of my foot. Get out! Princess, do less of the threat. I am still trying to trace the truth. Tracing what stupid truth? Tracing what stupid truth, Omowu? Because I don't understand what you're trying to judge here. Look at the idiot you brought before me to judge a stupid case. Well, that is the more reason why you should calm down, let us find the truth. My princess. It's okay. And where this, this rumor is coming from is what I don't know. But I will get to the root of it. My son, I am ready to go with you anywhere. Listen to me. Michael never knew I was pregnant before he died. Everything happened so fast. Honestly. I never even knew I was pregnant until three months. How could he have known I was pregnant when he was dead? We never, we never dated. We never in love. It was just a total mistake. So I was a mistake. Oh. I never said so. I came into this world as a mistake. A mistake of one night stand with a man you don't know where he comes from. Oh, we know. My mother, my sisters, even my father wanted me to abort you, my child. But I refused. Because they called you a mistake. And because I refused, they chased me out of the house. They called me all sorts of names. They called me useless. They said I'm a waste of resources. I slept outside. I was under the rain. Under the scorching sun, Vina. I slept under the bridge. I was molested by area boys. Vina I was raped. And in all of this, I never gave in to the agony, the pain. You know what? Each time I feel you kick inside of me. It gives me hope. It gives me excitement. Oh, Rina, look at you today. Look at what you have become. A wealthy man. Vying for the position of a local government chairman. All the people that rejected you. The people that wanted me to kill you through abortion. They come here today for you to help them. And you give them money. You clothe them. You house them. You even build mansion for your grandparents. Obina. Soon you're going to be getting married to a princess. Should I have aborted you? Should I have aborted you, my son? Oh, my son, I will not lie to you. I don't know where your late father came from. I don't know. Everything I said. My, name is My love. My all in all. My partner in crime. I 
feel the way I feel. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes I get with my friends and we have conversation. You hear them talk about their father, how they treat their father, how they take them abroad. Yeah, yeah, it's open. I understand. <laughs> but you need to be strong. I, I do feel it better than some of them. I don't even have a father. Not even a surrogate. It's okay. You need to be strong, okay? I believe God. I believe that one day you find your root. I believe that. I want to be left alone. I want... I want to be left alone. Chiso, why would you believe I poisoned our father? You cannot deny it. You think you love our father more than I do? Listen, Chiso, someone an enemy is trying to infiltrate this palace and I'm trying everything possible to stop it and you think me poisoning and killing our father would be the best form of action? But you want to become the queen. Oh yes, I want to be the queen. But not as desperate as killing our own father. Do you think I'll go- Then why are you not married? Why have you not taken your relationship with Obina seriously? Why don't you get married to him and leave the palace? Aha. You can't. Because you want to rule this land. So you're watching father very closely, waiting for him to die so you can ascend the throne. I may be young, but I'm not a fool. I know exactly what you're doing. You're a child. Therefore, you will not understand why I am like this. You will not understand why I have become this person. But believe me when I tell you this has nothing to do with the throne of Ikenga Kingdom. Hmm. I have longed to be married. I have always wanted to be married. I have wanted to experience marriage. I prayed for it. I dreamt it. I hungered for it. But not anymore. I no longer have those dreams. You parted ways with Kelvin a long time ago. Long enough for you to be married to another if you truly wanted to. But no. You want to become a tyrant's queen. You're waiting for father to die so you can achieve that aim. You're going to have to swear to the deity of this kingdom. And I'm ready to swear to any deity to prove my innocence, Chiso. And I cannot believe that my own sister would think so low of me. What is it that I need to know? Son, I swear by the gods, I don't know. Don't touch me. My son, I don't know anything. 
You heard what Dimka said. That I will never be king. He said I will never succeed my father. And you are telling me you know nothing about it? Honestly, I am confused. And I wanted to know one thing. Don't listen to what Dimka said. What matters now is how we can get the princess so that you can be healed. That's what is important now. Mom, listen to me and listen attentively. When the time is right, you will tell me all you have in the dark. I don't you think that? Think I just came and created confusion and caused enmity between my son and I? Oh God! Oh! What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? How do I convince my son that I'm innocent? How do I convince him? How do I make him to believe me? How do I get back his trust for me? My prince, the princess of Ikenga kingdom frowns so badly at the mention of your name. I'm not surprised. I know. But please tell me, my prince, who is she to you? And why was she so angry that she could not even let me see the four walls of the Ikenga kingdom palace? The truth is that I know her. Yes. But I never knew that the princess in question is her sister. And I don't have any other access to that palace. Can we at least go for a peace talk? Never. No, my dead body will I bow to any woman. Doesn't work that way. Do you know me? I am Escuba. If not that I have repented, who is she to be displaying these Shanganiers before me? She turned down a letter from this kingdom. That's an insult on my personality. But my prince, what is the real problem? You know, this case is like a fly that perched on a scrotum. You can neither slap nor slam it out. I don't want to talk anything about her. All I need is my peace. I need peace. My prince, your condition is my problem. Listen, don't let me pour you drink out of anger. Go home and live with your wife. That reminds me, I heard you are seen in Charles' wife. Is that true? Huh? Me? God forbid. Ah, Chris, how can you say that? Stop seeing another man's wife to avoid untimely death. Go home and live with your woman. Just know that if you are doing it, you will not see clear. The gods will dim your eyes. Leave. Good evening. You know, it's, it's not in my nature to be hostile to ladies, but you're pushing me so hard. I don't like it. Hostile should not be the word here, because I am doing this for love. How can you be talking about love when I already told you I have a woman in my life? Why are you pushing it? Who doesn't know the woman would think you're, you're in a relationship? Yes, I'm in a relationship with the princess. Now you know. Does it mean you've not heard of the news making the rounds that this princess poisoned her father? She poisoned her father because she wanted her father to die fast so that she can become the queen. Can you do me a favor? Just shut up. 
say only what you know. Opina, I am not lying. I'm saying the truth. You need to believe me. She poisoned her father. Helen, you see how desperate you are? Desperately trying to lie your way into my life. But you know what? That won't happen. Opina. Obina, I am telling you the truth. You are too refined to be with a woman that can poison her father. Your life will mean nothing to her. Obina. Helen, when you are done, please use that door. Obina. Why will you think I'm lying? Chief Okonkwo, you know I'm not supposed to be here in your house. You have been barred from the cabinet and you have not even done anything that will warrant you are being admitted back. Uh, well, that is because I am not one of those men who will be sitting comfortably on the keg of gunpowder and then continue to behave as if all is well. And who are the men sitting on the keg of gunpowder? Uh, well, there, Umba, as the one who has become the Onohu, or the one who is the Onohu, I will actually say you are the leader of that group. I am terribly disappointed that a man like you could allow himself to be bought. Chief Okonkwa, I think that as an insult. How could you say I have been bought? Bought by who? Bought by the same family that is doing everything humanly possible. To impose a character as the crown prince and possibly make that character the king when the said character has not been exposed to the Ogede of Udioka Kingdom. And that is your reason for saying that I, Owefia Mumba, the owner of Dioka Kingdom, have been bought. The king is the custodian of the Ogidi. And when the king takes a decision that his son is fit to be called the crown prince of the Oka kingdom, who am I to object? And the king's decision, remember, must be respected. Only first is a real. You see, eh? this thing you just said now is the reason I will not come back to that cabinet. Because the cabinet is a compromised body and a man like me cannot be part of a compromised body. It's just as simple as that. Chief Okonkwo, I'm here to ask you a sincere question and I believe you will give me a sincere answer. Are you the one troubling the prince? I don't understand what you mean by troubling the prince. I already made it clear to all. I did not speak in secret. I spoke in the open. I spoke in the open. I didn't speak in secret. I said that Nelson will never be king in this town. Is that what you mean by troubling your prince? No. Sometimes a strange force will descend on him. And once that strange force descends on him, he starts behaving as if he's insane. So that is what I'm trying to know if you have any hand in that. Hmm. Well, uh, answering you sincerely, I have no hand in what is happening to your prince. But if what you said is the truth, that there is a strange force that will always attack him, it will simply mean that the gods of this kingdom have risen against him. And if I were you, I will be busy tracing the root of that problem and not moving from house to house asking useless questions. That is what I'm trying to do. Tracing the root of that problem and not moving from house to house. I only came to you. If actually you are sure you want to trace the root of the problem, move your number, you know where to go.
Cynthia, why this mean? Why are you this wicked and heartless? If not because of your actions and your mother cannot keep close, your fellow maid will not be in this kind of tight situation. How? I don't even understand what you're saying. And besides, I, I couldn't consider the truth all to myself. You don't give me that kind of attitude. Don't tell me that you don't know what I'm saying. I know why you're doing all these things. Now you are playing a scent here, right? You called out other maids to force Neri to speak what she told you in the secret. Are you, are you not listening to yourself? You're a wicked one. You're a snake that is looking for someone to bite. So I am looking for someone to bite and it's you. you Why am I even wasting my time with you? Why? Cynthia, you cannot deny it. You cannot deny it. You have eyes for her man. Am I denying it? Am I not attractive? Why is it that he can't even look at me? Why won't he look my way? Am I not better than a lady? He look cannot look me. at your way because you are a very short woman. Really? And your mouth cannot close. Yes, you are not his type. So he cannot look your way. Try now, the end of the year. You will get nothing. Whatever. However you want to place it, however you want to cook it, that is your business. No. I can't look at you. You are too old for me. <laughs> Hello? Chief Priest. I need to say this before we proceed. <clears throat> Death is the portion of anyone that lies before this offer. Death. Sister. Please, do not swear by this. You could actually die and I do not want to lose my only sister. This is the more reason I need to swear. The more reason I need to swear on this or for to vindicate myself. Because if I don't, news will spread around the Kinga Kingdom that I poisoned my father. Who cares about the news? Who cares? It will soon die down and you can continue to leave. Please, sister. Sister, please. Let me put an end to this one, sister. Sister, I swear by this offer that if I have a hand in my father's sickness, if I poisoned my father, let death strike me. But if I don't, let death face every evil person involved in this conspiracy. So be it. You see. Mm. Mm. I have done a broader inquiry. Also, I have discussed extensively with the prince, and I came to the conclusion that there is something you know which you are not discussing with us. Something like what? I don't know. That is why I'm having this discussion with you. Oh no. I am, I am getting confused. Because you all know the story of uh, Prince Chima and how I came into this palace. So, what else if not that you and the Council of Elders we already are doing more than enough, Your Majesty. But the fingers are all pointing back at you. 
I mean men who can see far with Ugini appointing fingers at you. You should help us, Your Majesty. Help you? How? What else do you people want me to do? Is it that I am Prince Chima's biological mother? We already know of that, Your Majesty. We know that Queen Ulima died after giving birth to him. Then our king brought you in and you assumed the role of a mother in his life. We know of all those ones. Then, if you people already know that, what then is the issue? Why are all figures pointing at me? You know me very well in this palace. You know I haven't committed any abominable act. I am not an evil person, no. No, no, no Your Majesty. It has never been said anywhere that you are an abominable person. But we are getting confused. We just hope and pray that the gods show us a way out of all this. <clears throat> I don't believe in all that, but yours is slightly different. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. For that reason, I can set you free. Go and meet your mother, the queen. That is why I'm here for us to talk like men, not spirits. The girls have nothing to offer to you, my dear friend Prince Nelson. Are the gods punishing me for my past? You are a very, very stubborn being. You know too well. You hunted and wounded a soul. That soul has had a glimpse of you. The bitterness have resurfaced. That soul has done evil to avert what was to happen. They said your healing lies in her hands, but not in her hands. You are not reaping the consequences of your past. You can't be king. I can see you do not want to leave this palace in one piece. Anyways, tell me the secret you said my mother knows. She is your biological mother. She will tell you everything you need to know, not me. You are not making sense to me. I will leave and return when you are ready to make sense. Let me go, for the girls have nothing to utter to you, because I have already told you all that you will need to know. know what is happening. I don't even know what is going on. But I've told you before, and I don't have anything hidden in my cupboard. Dimka told me that you are my mother, which is different from what you told me initially. Look, I breastfed you. And I raised you up to this level. This is really not what is important now. 
Dinka said you are my biological mother. I am not. I carried you. And I raised you up. I've told you everything about your birth. Yes, I remember you told me that my mother died of cancer when I was barely six months old. You also told me how you nannied me and then became my father's queen. But are you telling me that Dimka does not know the difference between a surrogate mother and a biological mother? Look, Dimka is confused. I've told you the truth. And our core interest now is how you can get well. We have to find a way around going to meet the princess that you met at the other side of the world. Let's find our way to a king a kingdom so that I will marry the princess for you and the coronation will start. All right. I will marry the princess. That's very good. That's my son. Look, there's no time left. But I will not forget what Dimka told me about you and secrets. Father, I know you can hear me. Please, Father, fight this death and return back to life. You have to give out my hand to this man. You have to give us your blessings, Father. I know he will come. He will come to me in reality. I love him so much. He promised to come for me. And I want you to meet him. You will like him. Why are you such a difficult character? The way you switch from one mood to another is confusing to me. You called her compromised. Yet, she traced you to this world and willing to help you. That simply means you are better than me because no one is trying to help me. When you say another world, are you by any means implying we are dead? I came here searching for healing and I found you. That makes you the healer. So tell me, when am I getting healed and freed? You say too many things all at the same time. How can I process them all? 
You are a princess, like you said, right? And I sense you're a prince. Why haven't you said anything in regards to that? What did you write? I can't understand anything from this. We are friends. But trust me, we need to become more than friends to achieve our goals. I am ready for anything you want. Anything whatsoever. But we will start with you opening up to me. I am a princess. I have a reason to believe you're a prince. Are you a prince? I know you to be one of the rich men of Ikenga Kingdom. I have heard so much about you. But what I don't know is why you are in my place. Should I understand you to mean that I cannot come before the priestess of our land? I did not say so, Vincent Onodoko. Same time, I did not see your visit as anything related to my office as the priestess of this kingdom. Oh, beautiful. 
I am happy that has been revealed to you already. I am going to be straight and sincere. I am here for business. What business? A maiden of this land, a princess, has consumed my heart. And I have tried in many ways, on my own, to get her to me. But it hasn't been successful. That's why I have come to you. I want to get her through you. Which of the princesses are you talking about? Her name is Chisum, the younger princess. Wrong choice. That same princess has given her heart to a stranger. A man from another kingdom. And from what I see in the spirit, there is already complication. Complication? There can't be complications with you now. That's why I've come to you. I mean, with me, there can be complications. It can be complicated with me, but not with you. That is why I have come for you to help me pull this taunt. Why do you want me to be involved in this? Um, because as the priestess of our land, I want you to use your office, this power the gods have given to you, to start making money. I don't understand what you mean by that. Explain. You are beautiful. Your beauty is what I cannot describe. You are using the power the gods have given you just to serve the gods and people hardly pay you for it. I want you to start making money. Use this power to make money. Invoke her spirit here. I have plans. I have plans to get her pregnant. And as soon as I achieve that and she discovered she is pregnant, she will have no other option than to come to me. She will settle for me. And by the end of the day, I will give you 5 million naira. Just pull this down for me. What is wrong with the princess? She was having her lunch at the royal dining before she collapsed. And we have also taken her to the hospital. And he confirmed to us that he find nothing wrong with her. Then, Princess Adeza instructed we bring her before you because she believes you can solve the problem. Princess Adeze instructed you to bring her before me because she is incapacitated. And as the one who positioned herself as the ruling queen, she cannot set her eyes on the incapacitated. You are right. She's, so, she's very dear to the king and we don't want her to die. She 
She is not going to die. But she will remain with me in the next seven days. Seven days, priestess? How do we go back to Adese and tell her this? A princess is not supposed to sleep outside the palace. That is what you feel. But this character lying before me has left the palace a long time ago. How? Mirama, honestly, you are confusing us. How can you say that she's from here, has left the palace a long time ago? Why is she still here with us? Go back to the palace. Tell her this, that is what I said. She's the one that is here with us. Is already somewhere with another who wants her for his healing. She must remain here to have her life back again. thing I can remember was I was in a meeting with the unknown of my land. Then I passed out and all of a sudden I woke up here. Hmm. So you're confirming to me that you're a prince? Yes. Oh! Miriam. I have heard a lot of unprintable things about you. How you associate yourself abominably with your fellow women. Turning your back at men. Princess Adeze, your sister who is lying incapacitated right here should be your concern, not diving into my private life. I am just trying to present my case in a clear way. If you are using the guise of her being incapacitated, to try to defile her in your abominable way. Let me remind you that I am Princess Mori. And I will forget the fact that you are the priestess of this land and deal with you mercilessly. Princess, I will forget your insult and deal with the issue at hand. Your sister who is lying down there in my house has found herself a companion somewhere and she is with him. What do you mean by that? Do you wish to see your sister and know she's okay? You know I cannot set my eyes on her. I am the princess of this kingdom. The crowned princess of Ikenga. Setting my eyes on the incapacitated, it's like setting my eyes on the dead. And I am not ready to perform all the rituals that needs to be done for me to be cleansed. So no, I am not. Princess Adesi. 
Your hope is actually hopeless. For you are building a castle in the air. Why did you say that? I will ensure that your sister returns in one piece. But she will have to remain here with me. It's now making sense. How do you mean? We are connected. No, we are not. We are. Because you are the princess of Iking. And I am the prince of Dioka. Do you remember saying you were in search of healing? And I am your healer? I never said that. I can't remember saying that. You can't even remember the things you said? Someone is looking at us from a distance. I can feel it from here. Who is she and what does she want? Pay no attention to her. She's the priestess of Ikinga. She has been compromised. In that lonely forest where they are, they are lost. The young man feels my intrusions. But our princess wishes to be with him. All these are why I was asked to come and inquire. Huh? We already know Princess Chichon is here in your house. At the same time, elsewhere, with a ghost. I can't remember telling you that he is a ghost, you know. He's a human being wasting his time. What do you mean? I see blood. I see war. What do you mean? I said, mean the, the young man will kill the princess? No one is going to kill anyone. I see war. This war will actually start gradually and then become very big. But one good thing about it is that no one is going to die. 
because it's a war between same blood. Mm. Priestess, I, I, I'm not here on my own. I came as the messenger of the king. Just to inquire on this. Why are you talking about war and blood? They see our princess as their healing. But she is not actually their healing. Princess, you are not helping matters at all. Which one are you talking about healing? He is not harmful. He is actually very peaceful. But the problem is that his past is connected to our princess, Adesi. That is the issue here. Every, everything is getting very complicated. Very complicated indeed. But the girls of Ikenga is on it already. Priestess, uh, as Princess of Ikenga, uh, does it mean you are not in position to tell me the meaning of this message? Oh no, I will tell you the truth. There are so many things I do not understand anymore. But let the Princess remain here. I think everything will be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I can see you uh, being free with me. You're very free with me as well. We are the only humans here. I feel like we are not in our bodies. Really? I actually think we are. There is something mysterious about everything that is happening around here. What do you think or feel about us? I... I think you should give this a try. I'm not in the mood of eating. Okay. I think Destiny is playing with us. Destiny. Mm -hmm. Is that a birthmark? <laughs> Even my mother could not explain this mark. to be pampered by you.
What is it? What is it? Miroma, speak! What do you see? Don't. Don't, don't do it! about what is going on talk to me what do you see I want to leave here likewise but I want to leave with you where where is it? <gasps> Miyama, talk to me. What is happening? What is going on? What do you see? Come with me to see your sister's body. Why would you say that to me? You know I cannot set my eyes on her. Setting my eyes on her will ruin me. Except you want to ruin me. Then allow me to do my work. It will be a great pleasure of mine. I want to come to your kingdom. No, I will come to your kingdom first. You will come to my kingdom? Yes. You mean you will come to Ikenga? I will. Tell your father, the king, and whoever that cares to hear, that I am coming to your kingdom. Princess Shisum, a man of this village has indicated interest in you, and he's ready. Now, I forbid you from allowing another man enjoy the woman in you. What game are you playing? I 
I am doing my job, princess. Go home and wait for the end. For Shisum, we'll come back in one piece. You know, they do not call me the no-nonsense princess for nothing. There is a reason. Miriama, if anything goes wrong, you will feel my wrath. I promise you. You have made a promise to a princess. I'm sure you understand what it means. Let's also pray that we are not dead. We are not dead. Destiny is just playing on us. I pray we find a way out of this place as soon as possible. Yes. Yes. Yes, my prince. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. Nelson. Nelson, my friend. Machi, where is my friend? He's gone. Gone to where? It's time to go home. I have been waiting. <laughs> Miriam Machi, where is my friend? He has returned. It is time to go home. I've been waiting. Where did he return to? 
Your father is worried. The kingdom is already in tears. It is time to go home. And I ask, don't you want to go home? Imperero, Imperero, Imperero. Imperero, Imperero. 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 His case is not as pathetic as reported. With time, he will be fine. Oh no, Wanamba. Does it mean you did not explain to him the situation we have at hand? Why is he sounding like he does not understand the gravity of the crisis we are dealing with here? Land. It is against the rules of engagement to explain situations to the Dibia. It is the Dibia who will unmask the situation. That is why he is the Dibia. Which is what I have done. He is going to be fine. But he needs a princess. A princess who is far away from this land. Where is this princess? And how do we find her? She has been yearning to be with your son, the prince. Uh, Please make this easy for us. If his healing is connected to this princess you speak about, help us by telling us how to find her. Miriam Machi, I will ask again. Where is my friend? I was lying there with him, right there. His soul has returned back to his body. You will see him soon. I want to see him now. to explain his encounter with the princess in the world beyond. Then you will take it off from there.
Welcome back. You have seen your friend? Yes, I have. Miramachi. Now, he has returned back to his people. People in the physical world, I mean. And I ask again, now that he's gone, don't you want to go home? I want to, Mirama. I want to return to the palace. He promised to come to our kingdom. I want to go and wait for him. I can see you are in love with him already. <laughs> Miriamma, I'm ready to return to the palace. Can you take me with you? Please. As you wish, my princess. I sent for you because the princess will be returning to the palace today. The princess of our land, you are confusing us. The princess was brought here because she had a spiritual attack which medical science was not able to handle. Our princess has been here for days as you instructed in Mirima. Why should we take her back to the palace when she's still not okay? The king promised a three-day feast when the princess returns. Go back to the palace. Tell him to start preparing for the feast. Princess. My princess. My princess. <laughs> Oh, thank the gods. Thank My princess is back. Yes. How did this happen? Where am I? Oh, where are we? And why do I feel so weak? Oh. Take her back to the palace. Let her freshen up. Give her something good to eat. Then we will take it off from there. My princess. Please. Greetings, Princess. Greetings, Obina. You may sit. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. You know, it is a rule in this palace that every visitor must be entertained. I equally know that no visitor must come to the palace empty-handed. That explains why I always arrive with a lot of gifts. Ah, Obina. 
This is one of the problems I have with you. Do not misunderstand me, beautiful one. I do not say that to make to mean bragging. I say that to make you know that I know the tradition. Oh, really? Yes. Good. Since we are talking about tradition, like you rightly stated, how come whenever you come here you hardly take anything? Princess, you are the only one that brings me to the palace. And if you who brings me to the palace does not give me a smiling face, how then can I be free? I sometimes wonder what you really want. Because I don't know. Here I am, sitting majestically, having a decent conversation with you, yet you are complaining. So I wonder, and I beg to ask again, what do you want? My love, you know exactly what I want. I want you. I am ready to come meet the king tomorrow. To fulfill all requirements, just so I can have you as my wife. You know, I have a serious problem with your timing. You clearly know the king is just recovering from a health challenges. Yet, you want to bug him with this. Okay. I'm prepared to wait. I've withered all this while. I just want you to reassure me that there'll be light at the end of the tunnel. Tune it down. What sort of language are you using? Here I am, sitting with you, having a decent conversation with you, in a courtship with you. And he is referring to what we have as a tunnel. I didn't mean it to come that way. I'm sorry, sorry if that came bad. I love you, and I just want you to be mine. told us how you have been in the other world with a man in the royal forest of the dead. Yes, sister. Oh my goodness, you need to see this man. He is so handsome, so unique and... <sighs> He's exactly what every woman would want in a man. Guess what? He's a prince. He's a prince? Yes! But then, I can't exactly remember the name of his kingdom, but I know he's a prince and... Uh, <sighs> he's so cute! Is he a ghost? No, 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 no. He's not. I think we had the same fate and somehow we both found ourselves in the forest. But then he left before me and there was an apparition of Miriam, mind then I don't know how I got here. But I can assure you he's real. Um, honey, I don't think this is real. Uh, uh, listen, listen, this is a figment of your imagination. No, 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 sis, listen to me. I don't mind if every other person doubts this. 
If you believe me, I'm fine. I am telling you, sis. Listen, have you ever seen me like this? Mm, uh, no. Exactly. That's how you know this is real. In fact, I need an artist. Yes, I, I, I need an artist. And why would you want an artist? To draw him. I have a vivid picture of this man in my head. It's very handsome. You're going to like him. I can explain to the so artist. They are going to... You have to calm down now. I am sure you wouldn't want to bother dad with this. Do you want him calling a doctor on you? Calling a doctor? Yes. Why would he call a doctor on me? Am I sick? No, you are not. But you're beginning to sound like one. So you need... Mm -mm. Listen, listen. I, I will believe you, but now you need to rest. Sis, that is because you don't believe me. Sis, I promise you're going to like this man. He's very gentle. He, he's discerning. Like, he's very handsome. Susan, calm down. You need to rest now, okay? No, 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 dearest sister, you need to rest. I, 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 I can't rest. Uh, I keep thinking to, about don't, him. Don't, don't no, no, sis, hold on, sis, hold believe on. me, sis, now. believe me. It's okay, I believe you. When you are done resting, we can now talk no. about this man of your dream. But, but for you, now, you need to rest. But you believe me. I do. You believe me. And we will talk oh, about it later. Sister, he's so cute. Shh. Let me get water for you, okay? Okay. I'm so happy. Just, just rest. My friends. The man she had an encounter with in her friends. Yes, father. She said the man is a prince and has promised to come visit her in the palace. A prince? A prince of, of which kingdom? Father, don't tell me you believe this is real. She had an encounter with a wandering ghost. A wandering ghost? Yes, Father. Appearing to a member of the royal household? Exactly my thought. <sighs> well, I actually called you for this meeting because of uh, Obin and yourself. I'm aware he seriously seeks your hand in marriage. And I want to know what your position is, as far as this is concerned. Father, I... I am taking my time. Mm, you are not taking your time. You are confused. And I want you to do something about it. Father, I am not confused. I love Opina, and I would love to marry him. Obina and I, we have, we have plans. But I am trying to take things slow and steady. I was hoping catching up with you after a meeting with the king would be an opportunity for us to flow from his real aura and start something noble already. Obina. I am sure you are aware my sister has allowed the spirit of a wandering prince to possess her. I was thinking that is what you came here to talk about. But no, as usual, you came to talk about yourself. I'm sorry about that. You should be. Do you know I'm wondering about something? And what could that be? Chisomi is not an Obanje. Nope, she's 
claim. I, even though I don't believe in Ogbanje and spirit like that. But look, I think someone somewhere is trying to find his or her way into her life. Obina, you are getting me all confused. Let's hang it there for now. Um, princess, we we had an inconclusive conversation last week. Obina, my sister just returned back to life. And we are still celebrating. Why are you always giving me this strong cold shoulder? Why? No, I don't give you any strong cold shoulder as you tagged it. I mean, come on. We are dating and it's as if we're not dating. You hardly make our time to see me. You don't see me. You're always here. No affection. Yet, we're in love. You love me. And that is not a lie. Obina, I... I am sorry I have not been giving you the time you want. But I will beg you. I would have to plead with you again. Please give me time. I do love you, but I'm sure you know nothing about my past love life. How I was shattered. How I am still trying to rebuild my life from the inside. Princess. How long do I have to wait? It's been seven long months. How long do I have to wait for you to rebuild from the inside? One more year? Two years? I'm patient. I'm waiting. Thank you. And um, one more thing, Obina. Stop discussing us with my father. Please. I know you two are best of friends. But please don't discuss us again with him. I'll take this as a request. Also. Stop referring to what we have as a tunnel. These are the last. As it pleases Her Majesty. Before the princess of Ikenga Kingdom. 
I thought I made it clear that I do not want to be disturbed today. I'm sorry, but we have visitors from the Oka Kingdom. They are no who is the head of delegation. They parked outside the gate. But I have allowed the entourage to come inside the compound. Where are they now? Outside, my princess. Let me start with an introduction. I am Obuefi Jidofo Anumba, the Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. And here with me is His Royal Highness, Prince Nelson, the Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. Young Escobar. What in the God's name are you doing here? Oh, you know my prince. That means our journey is already successful. Your journey is not successful and can never be successful. Now, all of you, get out of this palace. Now! Maureen, your noise is becoming too much. Have you forgotten who I am? Or have you forgotten what I am capable of doing? On the contrary, young Escobar. I remember who you are. I know what you did. And I know what you can do. To think that I have moved on with my life and forgotten everything you did to me. Now you have the f the audacity to walk into my father's house with your ugly face is what I still don't understand. But let me make one thing clear to you. No matter where you hide, young Escobar, I will hunt you <coughs> down. I am not here to exchange words with you. My healing process lies in the hands of your sister, Princess Chiso. And that's why I'm here. Is she home? To think that you believe that I will hand over my sister to you makes you a dreamer. Like I said, Get out of my father's compound now. You are here. hallucination as as I was made to believe you are real <sighs> now get into your room and lock yourself up get out of this palace right now I am standing here in my capacity as the crown prince of Dioka for that reason you have no right to discharge the one I have come to see I have every right to ask you to Sister, leave this compound please. right now. Sister, please. You are not welcomed here. Get out! Sister, these are royal guests. Will you Sister. shut that thing you call a mouth? I said get into your room before I make you do it. As the head princess of Ikenga Kingdom, I command you to take this girl into her room. Now! Touch me! Get out of my father's palace. How dare you? Why would you do such a thing? Why would you send my guests away from the palace? Father. What's wrong with you? Father, those people are not your guests. Besides, I did what is best for the palace. 
Father, can you imagine her effrontery? She's not even remorseful. Please don't make me hate you. Please. Like I care. Oh, please hate me. Chisom Obasi. Please. You have committed an abomination. Yes! Why would you send the royal family out of the palace? What if found your actions? Why? Father, your daughter saw a man in transition and won't stop it! Stop it. And you don't get to yell at me. You don't get to do that. Do you even understand that these people are not human? They are not alive. They are ghosts. You are communing with a ghost. What is wrong with you? Can't you see that these people emanated from the grave and came to take you away from us? You cannot fool me. For I know ghosts do not drive cars. So don't make it look like I'm stupid or just hallucinating. I know what I'm talking about. Listen. You will go and bring those dead people back to the palace. Yes. I take delight in communing with the dead. Father, those people are not coming back to this palace. They will never step their foot into this palace. Oh, and if you must know, I am tied to that dead man. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it, big sister. Father, did you hear her? Your second daughter is insane. You have already gone more insane than she is. You're more insane than she is. Sister. Father. Father. Please don't go. I beg of you, my hero, do not go. Please. Please, Father. Please. <laughs> Father, please. Help. How can you be accused of poisoning your own father, princess? That's unheard of. Why would you do a thing like that? Well, the gods have vindicated me. I took the oath and nothing happened to me. I am innocent. Okay. Okay, nice, nice by the way. Why are you restricting the prince of the Yoga Kingdom from seeing your sister? You think is unreal or what? Obina, this is not the reason you are here. Okay. What's the reason? I need to ask you for a great favor. Okay, go ahead. I want you to marry my sister, Princess Chisum. You're referring to me. Obina, do not pretend like you don't know what I am talking about. You heard me. I would like you to channel all the love and care you have for me towards my younger sister. I want you to marry her. And I am willing to pay any amount of money you want. Just mention it. Marry. Obina, please think about it.
What? How? My prince, you need to tell us what you had or have with the princess of Ikenda kingdom. It is for your own good. As the Dibia said, get what as the Dibia said and focus on what Dimka said. Dimka said my mother has a cockroach in her cupboard. She knows why I can never become king. And she knows why I'm always insane. So forget about what Ezediba said and focus more on what Dimka said. Too many issues at hand. But you know, my prince, we cannot break into Ikenga kingdom or palace and force the young princess to marry you. There are protocols. That is the reason I keep suggesting that we make peace with that princess of Ikenga kingdom who has refused to concur with our mission. My prince, you need to tell us what transpired between you and that princess. Oh no, my prince. Afunze Ebioko. I am the crown prince of this land and that means power and authority whatever I want I get including anyone's head so my people will go to Ikenga bring that princess for me because I love her and she must be my wife with or without the consent of Maureen do I make myself clear is the spirit on all Need I remind you that you are before Princess Maureen of Ikinga Kingdom? The no-nonsense Princess Maureen. I am sure you have heard so much about her. I believe. Princess Maureen, the Adese of Ikinga Kingdom. Yes, I know you. And I know what you represent in this kingdom and even beyond. I, do you know of the Oka kingdom, humbly came before you because we need your help. I know what you're about to say. But I'm not interested in those tales. Can you please allow today be one of those good days you listen to people? You shouldn't refer to this as tales. Please. Before you came in here to become this man's solicitor, do you even know what he had already said to me before you walked in? Well, let me tell you this. Before you walked in here, do you know what this man said to me? Do you know what the Onohu of Dioka Kingdom seated here said to me before you walked in, Princess Chisum, Jerez's sister? Well, let me tell you. He said for the mad prince, the mad prince of Dioka kingdom to regain his sanity, that he must get married to you. And you call that tales? Princess Chiso. What if it's true? It's not a matter of what if it's true, because it indeed is the truth. 
Once our prince gets married to Princess Chisum here, then our problem is solved. Really? You know what? I am not going to say anything further concerning this issue. I want to see our father. I want to talk to my father, the king. You are asking for the impossible. For you already know, I, Princess Chisum, will not disobey the elders and allow you see father. I will not. Do you realize I am the crown princess of this kingdom, Chisum? Are you now telling me I am not allowed to see my father. Please, let us not complicate issues before this august visitor from another kingdom. Kindly dismantle the order you gave the guards to not allow me leave the palace. I have to go see the prince of Dioka. I may not become his wife, but we have to heal him first. If you do this for us, I promise on my honor, I will bestow on you the greatest title we have in the Oka Kingdom. To hell with you and your greatest title of the Oka Kingdom. But I will not allow this disrespectful sister of mine to leave this palace. And that is final. And no one can do anything about it. himself one man demolition squad the face of Dioka kingdom pride of his father working the end of the I told them that they won't harm you they won't kill you before your time Odogu Agunia you know, <laughs> you my friends. <laughs> when did you arrive? I just arrived. You're welcome. Please Thank you. Me. Thank you. So how has it been? I'm okay. I think good. I heard you will be getting married to our princess. So how is she? Yes, I'm planning on marrying the princess. And she's ready for marriage as well. But things are not just working out. Obstacles here and there. I'm confused. <sighs> Do not worry. I am here. Everything will work out perfectly well. Your auntie is here. Don't you trust me? Are you sure? Oh, oh, surely. What? What did... What did you just say? Okay. They have come again. Huh? They Who have come they? again. Who are they? Why can't I become king? Huh? No, tell me. Why can't I become king? I am Escobar and Mandela is my cousin. Why can't I become king? You tell me why can't I become king? Who are they? What did you just say? Huh? I should give it to her. What did you... <laughs> Why can't I be king? Why can't I be king? I'm telling you now. Why, why, why can't I be king? No, 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 no. Why can't I be king? Mandela is my cousin. I am Escobar. I must be king. This is my 
I'm king. I said I'm king. Why would I be king? Am I not supposed to be king? I am king. I will kill you, I will kill you, and I will kill you. Yes, I am youngest man. Oh, yes, yes, he's my cousin. Mandela is my cousin. I must be king. I am King Escobar. I am supposed to be king. Mandela is my cousin. I said I am supposed to be king. Uh, Why wouldn't I be king? Am I not supposed to be king? Yes, Mr. Am I not supposed to be king? Am I not supposed to be king? My am I not supposed to be king? My I know you are supposed to be king. Did you do something? Did you do something? Yes, Mr. Am I not supposed to be king? Hey! 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 My son! Sir. Dibia, we are tired of all this. We are tired of all these things, eh? What shall we do? Eh? This is totally strange. There's limited time. Bring the right princess to this palace. But the princess ban us from coming close to their palace. We need an alternative. Oh no, there is no alternative. Bring that princess for the prince. He will be free from this spell. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You know this is the pure hard work of Mr. Okonkwo. Eh? He wants to take over the throne when my son is very much alive. But you know what? I, Queen Ugo, will never allow that to happen. Never! The lasting solution to this problem is the princess of Ikenga Kingdom. Did you not hear it? Save my life. But you know, no, you're a banker, a car, but you know, no. What if I give you love? Oh no, well, I decided to get you involved in this. Not because I cannot handle it my way. Okay. But because I want you to talk some senses into this girl. Because she's beginning to cross her boundaries. My princess, thank you for being diplomatic to have involved me in this matter. Hmm? Uh, what is the problem? How do I come in? Tell me. Thank you very much, Ono. Mm -hmm. Ono, I want to see my father. I want to see my father, the king. Igwe Obasi of Ikenga Kingdom. And my sister, this little sister of mine is stopping me from seeing my father, the king. And now I am asking, and I want to understand, who the hell is this thing to stop me from seeing my father? I may not be as mighty as you want me to be, but I still insist you will not see him. And why don't you tell us what exactly is going on? Why don't you tell us the problem you have with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom? Why do you want him to languish in pain? Why do you abhor him so much? How heartless can you be? Have you not confirmed he is not a ghost? Is that not enough? Oh no, why are you listening to this fool? No, are you listening to this fool? We are talking about my father, the king of this kingdom, and this idiot is talking about a ghost, a wandering ghost at that. Point of correction. I am not an idiot. Neither is my suitor a ghost. Um, my princess, you cannot see the king. You cannot see the king. His majesty has just come back. Uh, from coma and you know it's a taboo for you to see him I mean you and I know it's an abomination as the crown princess of this kingdom, Mikenga kingdom to set your eyes on a man who is incapacitated oh no, oh no with all due respect I am losing my patience because this is not the bone of contention Oh no, are you just going to sit there and ignore my curiosity? Will you just sit there and pretend like I am talking trash? 
Otherwise, you can ask my sister here what problem she has with the Prince of Dioka. We deserve to know. I will not shut, shut up! up. I will not shut up! Neither will mind you that I'm your elder sister and you should not push me! And what if I push you? What if I push you to the bottom of the pits of hell? What will you do? Oh no, please! I've had enough of her pressing me in this palace! You people came to come here to, to, to come and settle matter. So what are you people doing? What are you people doing? Then it is meaningless calling me. Why do you call me? If you think you can handle the matter yourself, why do you call me? Oh no, I did not call you. She called you. She's the one misbehaving. Shut up. I will not shut up. I will not shut up. See, look, look. I got talking with Wilma today and uh, from what she is saying, Increasing number of our people now believe you're a cultist. My good friend, the Kukoma, I have already decided that I will never join issues with anybody. You see, all these things are tales. Tales that are created by the enemies of this kingdom to distract me. But I refuse to be distracted. Chief uh, Okompo, seeing people you call enemies of this kingdom Actually, see you as the real enemy of this kingdom. And my good friend Ikukoma, you who know me inside and out, am I an enemy? Chivokoko, you're not. Good. You're not. But you know, in a situation where you're misunderstood by almost everyone in the kingdom, I think you should step down a little and allow peace to reign. By stepping down a little and allowing peace to reign, do you mean that I have to allow a stranger to become king? If that is what you are saying, I am telling you here and now that it will never happen. Chief Okonkwo, you are my very good friend. I have to tell you the truth. The way things are going, Nelson may surmount all obstacles and become king. Have you pondered what he will do to you if that time comes? That time will never come. Or he will never become king. Oh yes, they may get so close, but everything is going to crumble right before their eyes. the king doing? I hope he's recovering. Hi. I, I, I'm just waiting for the right time to meet with this king. Hi. I can't wait for us to become men -laws. Honestly. Hmm. My son. Becoming a men to the king of Ikenga land. How? Mama, there's a problem. I don't understand. What problem? Maureen is asking me to go for her younger sister. I don't understand what you're talking about. Go! Go where? She's asking me to marry her younger sister instead of her. No, no. Ne. After seven or eight long months of emotional investment, no, she can't be, she cannot be saying this now, this time. Eh? Why? Why would she say such a thing? And what's her reason for saying you should go for the sister instead of her? She wouldn't tell her reason. No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Eh? It, it, it shouldn't be happening. No, no, no. You need to find out her reason. Because you're about to become the local government chairman. And you need a wife. And now that God is about to bless you with a princess, a crown princess, that will succeed her father because you don't have a male child. No, no. You, Obina, you have to sit down, sit her down, ask her questions. Because this cannot happen now. No, no. Who must be in laws to the king? Uh, Mama, my business here is not the father and who succeed the father. My worry is my relationship 
and the time invested for this long period of time. So. Listen, we are saying the same thing. There will be a reason for her to say this kind of thing. So you should sit her down and find out. That's what I'm saying. Last time you were here, you made an allegation against me and followed it up with an insult. I decided to ignore you because I know that a day like this will come when you will need my help. Miriam, I have already apologized. I am only here because you are the only one who can handle this. There are so many things I can handle. Killing is not one of them. Asking me to assist you kill the prince of Dioka kingdom is not one of the things I can do. If you know what that son of a cow did, then you will agree with me that he is not worthy of life. He did not rape you. Neither has he seen the woman in you. And that is because I resisted him. I resisted him with the wisdom of the royalty in me. I forgot about him. Moved on with my life. But that son of a cow decided to show his ugly face again. And now I need him to be punished for the crime he committed. And you want him to pay with his life? You want him to pay with his blood? I cannot allow you shed blood, my princess. Are you going to turn me down? Not exactly. But you are going to allow me to deal with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom my own way. You will allow me to deliver your sister to the man of this kingdom. Anyone that is not the prince of Dioka Kingdom is okay by me. Then, I want you to tell me explicitly that you will not come after me or judge against me when I grab your sister and deliver her to the man of this kingdom. I will not come after you. But I also need you to explicitly tell me what you meant when you said that you would deal with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom your own way. My queen, relax. Relax. 
relax your mind. There is a solution. We have the cure. The cure is here. Calm down. At least let the princess come and attend to us. We've been here for over 30 minutes. Oh Lord, my son is dying. Nelson Chimobi is dying. Just calm down. The princess will see us. Okay? And nothing will happen to Nelson. Calm down. Uloma, you don't understand. You definitely do not understand. The princess will attend to us. Okay? So calm down. Eh. So, Chifu Konko is actually into occult. Oh, please, Uloma. Please! Look, I am not concerned about all that. What that matters to me is the health of my son. My princess. <sighs> Are they the ones that want to see me? Yes, my princess. How may I help you? My name is Queen Ugo. I am the queen of the Oka kingdom. I have come so that we can talk woman to woman. Queen Ugo of the Oka kingdom. There is nothing to talk about with you. With due respect, princess, do not be rude to a queen. Oh, no, no, no. She's not being rude. You know, we are meeting, you know, knowing ourselves for the very first time, so I sincerely understand. Well, out of respect, because you are royalty, I am only going to say this once. Nothing you say nor do here will amount to anything nor hold water. My princess. So don't, don't waste your breath. My princess, please. My son is dying. Please, your princess. You know how desperate a woman can be when she needs something. My son is dying. The crown prince of Dioka kingdom is dying. Please. I heard you. But what I have failed to hear you say is how this is my concern. Am I your son's medicine man? Our great Dibia said that your younger sister is the cure. Please. Please. Is my sister an herbalist? Your sister has the cure. Actually, we are not here for you. We came here to see her. Please, my princess, if you know what a mother can do to save her son's life, you will understand that I'm really desperate. Now listen, this is my kingdom. Nothing you will say nor do will make me change my mind. As the first princess of this kingdom, the crowned princess of Ikenga kingdom, I set a rule, I make a decree right now. My sister is not going anywhere and that is final. We want to marry her. Princess, please. Do not be too harsh on our poor souls. Oh? Our crown prince is dying, please. Chinonso. My princess. Get these women out of this palace right At now. At once. Hold it there. Hold it there, young man. Now listen to me, young lady. And listen very good. I am not a soft hearted queen. I've heard tales about you. So don't even do anything rash. 
I see. You came to kill me. That is exactly what I mean when I said I am desperate. I can actually do worse. Hmm. Chin on so. My princess. Stand down. This woman cannot hurt a fly. She poses no threat to anyone. Yes, I am in the palace with the sick prince in his room. Honestly, Mas Yudoka, the prince is not getting better at all. Even the doctor said he might soon get better. So. The queen is not in the palace. I am suspecting that she might have taken the bull by the horn by deciding to go for the princess. That is the most confusing part. She didn't go with any guard or maiden. She went alone. What else? We have to just continue hoping and praying for better days. Yes. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Set my love, love, but you know, no, you're a The princess has retired to her chamber and she will not come out again today. Look, that disrespectful and arrogant princess is not why we are here. We are actually here for the younger princess. Can you please call her for us? I'm sorry. I'm talking to both of you here because you're a queen. You cannot see the younger princess. Then, note that we are spending the whole night here. We are not leaving until our mission is accomplished. Then, best of luck. My queen, it is not as if I am interfering with your instructions. There is a suggestion I would like to make. What suggestion? Since we are passing the night here, I think it is better we call the palace secretary. At least inform him that we won't be coming back today. No, we do not even turn on your phone. Don't even think of turning on your phone. Not to talk of making any call. Don't you know they will trace the call to this place and that will jeopardize all our plans? But they will be worried. Let that be my headache. Let that be my headache. Look, I am desperate. And I am ready to do anything. It has happened up to here. I understand. Is the younger princess coming? Nobody's coming. Uh, my princess. My princess. It is the life of prince we are talking about here. Eh? Why are you doing this? I, I, I think you should reconsider. Please, my princess, I beg of you. Please. Oh, no. Yes, my princess. Starting from today. Yes, my princess. Your office as the Ono of this kingdom has been terminated. What? You will no longer uphold the sacred office. And you are banned from walking into this palace as you please. As a matter of fact, I do not want to see anything that looks like you in this palace. Do I make myself clear? My princess, have you forgotten I was chosen by the gods? Oh, really? Yes. Well, I just made a decree. 
I just passed a decree, a command in which you are supposed to obey. You might as well tell your gods what I said. As it is now, you are very, very inconsequential in this palace. My princess, what have I done? Have I gone wrong in any way? And what is going on in this palace? Who are those women? They look very tired and grieved. They are nobody. And you should not concern yourself with them. They are my business, not yours. Get busy, sis. Speaking of business, we have an unfinished business. You know, you've still not told me why you barred me from leaving this palace. You cannot act hostile towards everybody like a tyrant. You are not the queen, so don't pretend like you did not suckle any- <laughs> Shut up! Are you insane? Officer! Get out of this house now. Sorry. I don't care if I'm in your palace. Maureen, don't forget, I'm still the young Escobar. You know me and what I'm capable of doing. I want to marry your sister and there is nothing anybody can do about that. Young Escobar, you are mad. You are insane. I want you to die. I want you to die a mad man because you are not going to marry my sister. You are daring me. Hmm. I'm not. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you looking all stupid and foolish. Have you forgotten what you did to me? Young Escobar, have you forgotten the shame the pain you inflicted on me. Now look at you. At my mercy. Holding you by your balls. Because there is nothing you can do. And I ask you now, where is your connection? Where are your cartels? Where is everything you hold on to? You want me to hand over my sister to you. Young Escobar, I will not do such. And I want you to recognize the fact that I am your queen and you must bow to me. I will never bow to you. Oh, really? And you are not in the position to decide who your sister marries. Watch me do it. Like I said, I have your balls in my hand. I can decide to squash it if I want. Now get out. Get out! Lies! Absolute lies! You have no right to decide who I spend the rest of my life with. You dare not. For I am Chisum and I have a life to live with whom I please. This man is the one after my heart, my soul, my spirit, and the anatomy of this body standing before you. We met in the royal forest of death and made it back alive. You think you can stop us? You cannot. Chisum, get inside. I am going nowhere. 
you have crossed the line and have had it with your madness. What is it? What is it? What did he ever do to you so wrong? You can only punish him by torturing me. Well, I know you. You've never wanted my happiness. You pretend to be a saint, but deep down you're a very selfish and terrible person. This is the last I will take from you. You poisoned our father. Then the odds. I know you did that on purpose. Are you going to marry him? Absolutely. I will. one at that. Ah. What happened? That, that, that princess is highly demonic. Ah. She is evil. What happened? What did she do? <laughs> she, 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 she killed her younger sister. Ah. Ah. That's her younger sister that we are planning to Are you for real? Yes. Yes. That's that's bad omen. Oh, all our plans have failed. No, 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 no. Just calm down. I am with you. We must triumph. Oh? Just calm down. Just calm down. Unfortunately, there is no room for stubborn, joker women in this palace. Princess, we are not just women. She is a queen. Accord her some respect. Have manners, please. Hmm. A queen. A queen without guards. Hmm? Then. Go ahead and slit our throats. Go ahead. Slit our throats. That won't be a problem. As long as you accept my plea. Please, my princess, I am not fighting anymore. I do not know the kind of problem you had with my son in the past. I don't know the pain and agony he put you through. For the sake of humanity, I want you to forgive him. Please, the crown princess of Ikenga kingdom, forgive my son. I am losing him to insanity. Please, my princess, forgive him. I can be your mother, remember? Yes. We can be your mothers, especially now that your mother is Do no Do not more. talk about my mother because you know nothing about her. Enough. Oh, fine, fine, fine. We do not want to be your mothers, but place yourself in our shoes. I don't want to help your son. I will not help your evil and heartless son. You think you know him? You think I don't know who your heartless and evil son is? The thing is, you people don't know me. You don't know my father. You don't know what I am capable of doing. You don't know my father, and I am my father's daughter. The only lioness in the jungle. Not even your son 
sane or insane can trap me. So believe me when I tell you that this is payback. This is a sweet payback. And I am going to enjoy every bit of it. I am going to enjoy every ounce of it. Because I don't care. I do not care. Payback. What payback are you talking about? What did Nelson do to you? Did he promise you marriage and failed? Did he disappoint you? Did he lie to you? Please explain to us your pain, princess. Exactly, my princess. We need to know. I need to know. Please, my princess. Talk to us. Please. My dear princess, forgive my son. You are kneeling in vain. Like I said, you do not know me. This has nothing to do with business or relationship. So your emotions do not move me at all. Just quit. I had met with her father. I would have asked him to place a curse on the womb that gave birth to this princess because she's very wicked. Huh? What a gross disrespect. Huh? She's too arrogant. I have never met someone like that in my entire life. <sighs> Sophia. <sighs> but you know what? Loma. What? We are staying. We are not leaving. We are staying back. Yes. We must get to the root of this. No retreat, no surrender. Yes. I have we see. Queens. You have been in the palace for too long. Darkness has covered the sky. This is unusual in the palace. My father is not late yet. So if I may ask, is anything the matter? Leave us. At once. I know who you are.
I will never let this happen. Never. <laughs> Escobar. Escobar. You created the monster. You should be able to face it. I never knew that life will turn around and the table will directly face your opponent. <laughs> oh, Nelson, a.k.a. Young Escobar. This is the tip of the iceberg. Because you are yet to see anything. Hmm. You are yet to see anything. You are at my mercy now. At my mercy. And I promise you, I will crush you. I will crush, break and pieces every bones in you. Uh -huh. Am I on to the Onowu of Ikenga Kingdom? Okay, thank you, my brother. My name is Ichi Anumba, the Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. Sorry to disturb you at this night, my brother. Only that our queen left this kingdom for your kingdom, and she's not back yet. Ah, uh, we have called all day. It is not connecting. Though I know it's on purpose because she doesn't want anybody to get to her. Uh, please call your kingdom and confirm if she's there. Yes. Uh, it will be highly appreciated. Please do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nobody leaves this palace. Why are you like this? Why are you exhibiting qualities that are not befitting of royalty? We came here since yesterday demanding that you should release your younger sister to us. You bluntly refused, even when you know how important it is to my son's life. Now, we want to live honorably. You are still refusing us. What exactly do you want? My sister is missing. And until I find my sister, none of you are leaving this house. Where is my sister? How do you expect us to know your sister's whereabouts? Ah, we her keepers. Open the gate, let us go. Ah! Chuku Nonso. My princess. I see these women don't know me. But they will. Arrest them. At once. If you touch me. Arrest me, keep them until you see Chiso. If you don't, and if they resist, kill them both. I want to live with them. I thought as much. I can see your madness is back. Miroma will be needed soon. Chukun also. My princess. Take her to her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I said take Don't her to me. her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me.
For reasons best known to me, I will not be dealing with the two of you. Obikwe, open the gate. Before I close my eyes and open them, disappear. I am no longer afraid of you, for I have accepted to be your prisoner. And how are you battling with the princess of Ikenga Kingdom? You really dealt with that lady. It is hard for you to speak up and accept your wrong. As the white lion, the king, young Escobar. You initiated the fraternity thinking that all human beings will be at your beck and call. Just like you imprison an old man like me without telling me my wrongs. Without even letting everyone know the wrong I have committed as your prisoner. I am already comfortable here. In fact, I'm enjoying the drama. And to tell you the truth, you are only fighting your own self. Because very soon, you will leave this kingdom and everything behind. To where? Do that thinking for yourself. I kept you here because you know a lot. I know what you want to ask me. You want to ask me if the princess can be yours and if there is more time for you to unleash mayhem to Ikengan Kingdom. The answer is no, no, no. Because you will be caught in your own flesh. Will Chifokonko overtake me? Do you want to play a trick on your mind? That is not a question. I know what you want to ask me. If you would die, if the princess did not come to your aid, the answer is yes. I am not a magician. I am a seer. I read the mind. I see the past, the present and the future. My dear friend, would you want to know where they have taken Princess Chisomto? She has been arrested by her own sister. Where did they take her to? So, when your phone failed to connect, I had no other option but to call the Unu of Ikenga the said Onobu did not do anything. And as for the head princess, that girl is a monster. My queen, this is how we will go about this. Okay. I shall. I will make all the gods go away from their duty posts. You will? Yes. Okay. And then I will go inside the trunk of your car. Really? Yes. You do all that. Mm. My princess, yes. why don't we leave now? You can sneak out of the palace without being noticed or questioned. Mm -mm, my lady, it is not possible. As it stands right now, 
My sister has ordered the guards to never let me out of the palace. What? Oh yes. So we have to be two steps ahead of her. Okay. Which is why the best way we can go about this is for me to go inside the trunk of your car. That way you can drive off without them noticing I am with you. Oh, my darling girl, I'm so, 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 so Thank you so much. You're you welcome, so much. I don't know what this means to me. I so much appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my queen. You're welcome, my lady. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Just prepare yourself. Prepare yourselves, okay? Yeah. Do not act suspicious. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare yourselves. Thank I'll be right back. Okay, school. Cool. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful, Roma. This is wonderful. Honestly, she understands perfectly well. Gods of our land. She Gods of our land perfect this plans for us. Gods of our land perfect this plans for us. But everything went south. When she started looking for her sister, she raised alarm and ordered her guards to seize the queen and I. And when our guards tried to intervene, she said there would be bloodbath in the palace. I believe the princess heard the order and started to bang heavily on the trunk. That was how she came out. We were even lucky. She did not seize me and the queen as they seized the princess. Because they seized her immediately she came out. Hmm. That princess is me. I mean very, very me. She wants me to bow down and kiss her feet. She wants me, the crown prince, to bow down and kiss her feet. I'd rather die than do such. It will never happen. It's not even in my gene. No, no, no. No, my son. That girl is very angry. She wants you to beg for mercy. I can feel the anger in her. Can you please tell us what exactly transpired between the both of you? What transpired between you and that mad and bitter princess? We would like to know. This is nothing but power tussle. And I know that something must have happened between you both in the past. That girl's attitude is not ordinary. Or is she jealous? <laughs> yes. She's extremely jealous that our prince is about to marry her younger sister. <laughs> no, Loma. I totally disagree with you. No. What I saw, the picture I saw, is beyond jealousy and envy. Something is wrong somewhere. I am not interested in all that. I don't want this illness to repeat itself. So I am interested in Princess Chiso. I don't care about Princess Maureen. I do not care about her. Uh, we are doing our best to help. But then, you will have to tell us what is happening. Mother, I can't discuss her. She is a nobody. The gods have revealed that Princess Chisum is all I need, and that's what I'm focusing on. But that palace is impregnable. We cannot break into that palace and smash her because her sister is tyrannic in nature. Mm. She cannot allow any of us an inch close to that kingdom. You're right. Hmm. You need to see how she treated us. She insulted us. Try to fight me. Hmm. That girl, I must show her my skills.
Are you trying to tell me you don't understand English anymore? I locked up a maid. A maid who decided to destroy my image. And now I have gone back to where I locked her up and she's not there. Now I ask once again, where is Ned? Where is it, Jay-Z? so kind to me honestly I don't know but I feel you're a special woman but the problem I have with you is that you talk too much it is here I don't just talk these things have been deposited in my spirit by forces mightier than me if I don't talk I feel so restless I have to voice it out with my mouth. Then, find a way to control it. What you said already is why you are in trouble. And it's also the reason why we are traveling to my maternal home. But it's okay. I know my grandmother will be able to protect you from the forces that is trying to put you in trouble. And your maternal home is still very far. Somehow, maybe we can rest here for now. I know the guards are looking for us. And I see your head leaving your body if they eventually find us. May the gods forbid, not my head. Look, I'm only trying to save your life. Princess Maureen has already sentenced you to death. If not for the happenings in the palace, you'd have been dead by now. It's okay. Please, I am tired. Let us find somewhere to sit and rest. Better. So you are trying to tell me that a Jay-Z and a Neddy escaped from this palace. And none of you, no one out of you have agreed to helping them. Hmm? My, my princess, we are sorry. It happened so fast. We don't even know when it happened. Besides, a Jay-Z is the chief guard. And he outsmarted all of us. We are sorry, my princess. I see. I see. So I have dummies working for me. I have uniformed dummies walking around the palace in the name of maidens and guards. Because I don't understand how a JZ and Nady escaped this palace and none of you saw them. Not even one person saw them leaving this palace. And yet you call yourself gods of Ikenga Kingdom. A girl who insulted your princess, the first daughter of Ikenga, escaped this palace and all of you are standing here like dumb 
promise that you are telling me you know nothing about it. Right? Guards, my princess, you have just 24 hours to find a Jay-Z and a Neddy. If you don't find them before the end of 24 hours, Ed will roll. And I might start from you. Or you. And as for you, uniformed dummies of Ikinga Kingdom, I'll get back to you. Somehow, I see the gods are connected to this. It is not clear yet, but there is a twist that would shock everyone. We have started again. Can you just please keep quiet? One thing you need to know is that your life is at stake. Let us continue on this journey. That is the only way you can be free. Can I possibly keep quiet when I have a lot to say? Yes, you need to keep quiet. Princess Maureen is a fierce and overambitious woman. But she is still a child. Yes, she is a princess, but I am older than her. Should I not be afraid of her? Look, you need to stop seeing her as your junior. See her as the princess who can get you killed and nothing will happen. If she uses her position as the princess to cut my life short, the star of the gods in me will haunt her forever. Okay, no problem. Can we just leave? This endless argument is not helping us. Let us go! Ned, I don't know what you are saying, but look, I'm not going to be afraid of you. The gas will be coming after us. I believe you have your own legs to run in case they overpower us. So save your strength and let's go. Can you settle down? Let's talk. Kobina, there is nothing to settle down and talk about. I have said this. I've begged you. I want you to marry my younger sister. I want you to be with her. I want you to settle down with my younger sister. You see, all the love and care you've been showing me, show it to her. But if, if it's something you cannot do, then it's okay. There is nothing to talk about. Just, just... Maureen, this was not the promise we had for each other. We had our plans. And now you're asking me to marry your younger sister. No. Where, where, where is that even coming from? I'm coming from you. No, you're not. You are coming from my father's throne. That is not true. That is not true. Shut up. Just, just shut, shut it.
I'm sorry. Obina, I am so sorry. This, this is not me. Do you know this is not me? I, I have a lot on my plate right now. And I need to be focused to achieve all that is in front of me. So I don't need any distraction. That is why I need your help. Please. You are fighting the prince. All because he wants your sister. Yes. Are, are you playing game here? And you call it revenge? Revenge for what exactly, if I may ask? Obi, now you can call it anything you deem fit to call it. I don't care. Like I said, I want you to marry my sister. And if it's not something you can do, it's okay by me. You are free to walk out that door and close it behind you. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. I thought I sent you to ask Ichiome to come and see me. So why did you come back without him? My princess, he said he will never come to this palace again until you explain to him why you bad or no of this kingdom from coming to the palace. He said what? That old man said that to you? I actually met him with other elders. They are having a meeting. I see. So these old men are having a meeting against me. It's okay. I will answer them later. Right now, I need to concentrate and handle this threat from Dioka Kingdom. Later, I will handle this old man. And by the time I am done with them, they will run out of this kingdom. My princess, what else will I do? Get out. Hmm? Get out. I commissioned this tax into your hands. I paid you the amount of money I paid you because I believed you would succeed. How come you failed? I did not fail. I actually succeeded in bringing her here and she was here for seven days. You didn't get back to me. You didn't let me know. You should have called me. Call you to do what? Rip her? Vicent, Onudugo, or whatever they call you. There are so many forces involved in this right now. And these forces are ministering so many things into my head that I can no longer process things properly. Uh, I, I do not want to get involved with all these spiritual things and mystical matters. But I am just wondering why I paid for something and I cannot get what I paid for. And if not that you paid me very well for this, I would have thrown you out of this house by now because nobody speaks to me in this manner. Uh, I, I, am, I am sorry. I, I do not mean to upset you. It's just that I, I want to have this maiden. I want, I want to be with her. In fact, I need to have her. Go home. Leave at once. 
allow me to explore my plans. Do not come here again to provoke me. You will hear from me when you will hear from me. My princess, he sent for me. I did. This is very delicious. You prepared it? Yes, I did. Oh. And I'm glad you love it. I do. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, I have a feeling Nady did not lie to us. How do you mean, my princess? Something keeps telling me my sister might have actually poisoned the cake. That is not possible. She swore to the deadly staff. And nothing happened to her. Even at that. What if we are being manipulated? Yes, because if you... My princess. As the doctor has confirmed that there is nothing wrong with her, that means it is spiritual. I know that already. Now so? My princess. What do you suggest we do? Because I would not love to bring up this news to my father. It will elevate his blood pressure and that might lead to his death. If you may permit me, let me take her to the priestess. I believe she will have solution to her problems. By priestess, you mean Miriamah? Yes, my princess. I don't know why I don't like that lady. At this point, my princess, I believe it's the right for us to save her life first. And Miriamah is the only solution for that. I explored all the powers at my disposal. I only succeeded in casting a spell on her. A spell that brought her before me. What else did I achieve? Nothing. Goddesses of the King of Kingdom. Let it not be that you have abandoned me. As a member of the royal family, with royal blood flowing in your vein, I am sure you can stand the truth. 
What truth? And why am I here? I brought you here with my powers. What kind of powers, please? And why would you even bring me here? How long have I been here? A young man of this village is interested in you. I brought you here so that you can meet him. But powers beyond me pinned you down and you were not able to meet him. Now that you are up, I would like you to meet him. What you have done is abuse of office. In fact, it is a crime and you know it. I did everything for you, my girl. I have not committed any crime. You did everything for me. You brought me here against my wish, using mystic powers that is alien to me. And you turn around and say you did it for me? Only the gods can explain what you may have done to me. I have not done anything to you, my girl. I brought you here only for you to meet him. I am not interested in meeting any man. I already have a man in my life in whom I am well pleased. Same. I am not interested in another. Same man they've refused you from being with. You are a princess, my girl. You are meant to marry a man from this kingdom, not a stranger. I take an exception to that. My man is not a stranger. He cannot harm me. On the contrary, many people here in Ikenga are the strangers who use mystic powers to harm others. You cannot leave my presence. We have sent word to the palace and they are on their way to pick you. If it turns out that you did something awful to me, I will ensure that you regret it in spite of your position. Son, you have to calm down. You have to calm down. No, Mom. Don't tell me to calm down. Please. But you have to. How am I supposed to calm down when they are not here with her? It's easy to say calm down, calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? How? Tell me. Please. My prince, I believe they will be here any moment. So just relax. Oh no. We don't have time on our side. We don't have time. When this nonsense comes up, I will be completely out of this planet. And you stand here and tell me to calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? How? This is your head. This is a sacred place. We should approach this mission fast. What? The priest will kill us if we return to you without his staff. What are you saying? Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Listen to me. The princess that was held captive here is no longer here. And she was the target. We should approach this mission now. Never. We cannot live without the staff. Let's go. Can you drop Are you coming with me? Can you drop this? Goddess of the King of Kingdom. My hands, my legs, my whole body is not part of this. Whatever I want to happen, should happen to only him. I am not involved. I am not a particular of this. Please! Mama have the, has the spiritual power to prevent such happening in her shrine. Eh? Not all the time this thing works. Perhaps she was not holding her staff. Oh, 
Wait, girls. We should be talking about our missing princess. That should be our concern. Not Miroma this and Miroma that. What kind of silly talk is this now? It's not silly talk. But people of Dioka invading her shrine. We all know how desperate they need our princess. That should be their handwork. I don't think so. How can they invade the shrine of our priestess and take away her staff, including our princess Chisom? That means they are looking for war. I'm sure they will send our guards in search of them. Oh, okay, that would be a good idea. Mm. But let's just get to the palace, please. Uh, wait for me. Hold on, let me understand what you're saying. You went to the princess, please. And you cannot find my sister there. Exactly what I said, my princess. Hold on, let me understand something. You went to Miramas, please. And you cannot find my sister there. Exactly what I said, my princess. Chisholm was not there. There is this graveyard silence that shows that place was attacked. Attacked? As in, you're trying to say that Chisholm has been kidnapped? I may not conclude on that. But my princess, Chisholm was not there. Now seeing the useless prince of Dioka kingdom. You cannot contend what you just started. You cannot. Young Escobar. You can't. She is still the priestess, and we cannot question her authority. That priestess is powerless. If not, how come my boys return to his palace with her staff? Exactly the reason I am bothered. Your target is the princess. When your boys got there and they couldn't find the princess, they could have left. No, my boys are professionals. They don't work that way. They got there and the princess was nowhere to be found. So they were left with no other option than to return with the staff of that priestess. Did I tell you I went to confront Chief Okonkwo in his house? Why would you do that? Because I feel that somehow he is the architect of all these problems. He may be the one holding the princess. Yes. How come I never thought about that? Okonkwo. Okonkwo. If I finally find out that you are the one behind all I will crush you. I will crush you to pieces. The same prince of Dioka that I asked you to kill and you refused is the same person who finally sent thieves to steal your staff. And you did nothing. Now look at you. 
looking all ordinary. Just like the nobody that you are. Princess Adese, if you are here to mock me, I will advise you to leave my house at once. I may have lost my position as the priestess of this kingdom, but I still remain the Miroma of this kingdom. And you know what I can do. Oh, my darling, you can do nothing. Miriamma, look at me. You can do nothing because you are nobody. How? I don't even understand why I did not think about this all this while. I mean, if ordinary thieves can come into your shrine and steal your stuff, that is to say you have always had no powers. As a matter of fact, you are powerless. Wow, the powerless priestess. <laughs> I lost my powers because I allowed desperate people like you to dictate my life. No, 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 no. Because I don't understand why you are trying so hard to involve me in your downfall. Darling, this is all you. This is all you're doing. I have nothing to do with it. I allowed myself to be bright. That is what led me to these problems today. Bribed. Who bribed you? Wait a minute. Mirama, you have been collecting bribe all this while and then parading yourself as the priestess of Ikenga kingdom. Huh! Interesting. This is absolutely interesting. The bribe collecting priestess of our land. Just the same way you came to me. Asking me to help you kill the prince of Diok. If I had listened to you, I would have been a dead person by now. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Anyway, this will serve as a lesson to everyone who will decide not to respect what needs to be respected. The bribe-taking priestess of Ikenga Kingdom. I greet you. Enjoy your miserable life. Hmm. Miriamma. Those who shouldn't talk to you can now talk to you. You've lost it. I lost it all. <sighs> Obina, you need to start looking for a way to do something about this new development. Or better still, consider the younger sister. Yes, after all, she's pretty. Mama, what are you saying? What are you saying? How do I do it? It's simple, now. It's just for you to transfer the love you have for Princess Mori to Princess Chisu. After all, it's still from a royal home. Don't you know that marrying from a royal home will add to your credits and it will make you more relevant? So I, I suggest you just go for the younger sister. Okay. Okay. I've heard you. So I should just switch. I just leave Maureen and go to Chisholm. Simple. Hey, wait. I, I mean, tell me, Mama, I understand all you've said. Maureen from there, yes, add to my relevance, right? Mm hmm But that is not what I want. Maureen 
is the one I love and I want to marry. Not the younger sister. Listen, you want to marry. But does she want you as much as she wants her? No! There's, the, there's an adage in the that says, now forget me, a make her for a now. Go for a uh, uh, princess Chisum, it's still the same thing. I need you to do a Woji. There's something wrong with that girl. No? Oh, I see, because you want to rule the kingdom with her. That is why you don't want to go for the younger sister. Eh? When is there is no difference, it's still the same thing. So what is your problem now? Mama, I am not after the throne. I am not after the throne of Ikenga. Here is your land, my mother's land. All I want is just love and more. Can't you get it? Mama, see what you are saying. I should switch, transfer. Like I'm doing bank transaction. How do I just switch from um, Maureen and go to Chisholm? Switch from the older one and go to the smaller one? Yes. Mama, I am not from here. The king is your land. I'm not at the throne. I want Maureen. That's all. <laughs> you want Maureen. You want Maureen. You've said it more than ten times. Why did she doesn't want you? Anyway, I still stand on what the princess Mama, please, said. Come, come, Go for the younger sister. <laughs> the earlier the better. Mama, I don't want to talk about this again. I have please. said my piece. Ejezie, we are not here for you. Allow us to go with her, then you have your peace. Where is the man in you? Coming all the way to arrest a woman who has done no wrong to you. Ejezie, but she lied to the princess of Ikenga kingdom. Ned here must come with us to the palace to face the charges. I can swear on the staff of the king. I can even swear on the sacredness of our journey. What I said is the truth. Why then are you running? Why? You must come with us to the palace. You must face the princess. And who said I am running? Ejeze here practically forced me to run. What's wrong with you? What happened to the boat you took as he died? Look, this has become a matter of life and death. You both will not tell me that you were not aware that Princess Mori will kill her. But I did not lie. Princess Morin poisoned the king. Keep quiet and allow me to handle this. No one is arresting her, not when I'm still here with her. And who said anyone can arrest me when I am not ready to move? I only followed you because of the way you spoke to me. Not that I am scared of anyone. What an insult, Nerdy. You must leave with us to the palace. To face the princess. What have you done? Obiekwe, don't be fooled. I have the star of the gods inside of me. They are the ones telling me what to do and what to say. For your own safety. Leave here now! Never. Obiekwe, leave! Never! You must come with me to the palace. The oath I took, no retreat, no surrender. Come with me now! Nelly, you have just declared a war by attacking the guards. Let us leave here right now. Let's go!
So you have the nerves to step your filthy foot into my palace. Young Escobar. That's my name. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I want my sister. Your sister is not here. You know, you can fool everyone. Play smart with them. But definitely not me. Where is my sister? For the last time, your sister is not here. I want to marry your sister and not even you. Stop me. The lioness that decides to walk in the jungle alone. That is the lioness you should be careful of, Escobar. I can't be afraid of a lioness that has no crew. Is my sister. Don't forget you're standing before Escoba. fight women but don't forget I am still young Escobar not even your kingdom can save you if I decide to waste you where is princess Chisum I hope this story of princess Chisum missing it's a joke. Because if she's truly missing, that means I will visit your kingdom. And you know what that means. It means you will not live with a breath in your lungs. Because I cannot wait to attend your funeral. About what? About what just happened back there? What did you do to them? Nothing. I mean, I don't know. I told you there are forces greater than me. I mean, forces that are mightier than me, whispering things into my ear. Anything I wish for, anything at all. It just happened somehow. I don't know. So, are you saying that if I finally make you my wife, that if you desire for us to be the richest in our kingdom, that it will happen. And who are you planning to make your wife? Nerdy. Don't break my heart with this question. You will, not, you will not claim that you do not know that I love you. Is that not why I've been risking my life for you? Hey, JC. I appreciate everything you have been doing for me. Honestly, I do. But please stop talking about making me your wife. You cannot marry me. You what does that even mean? What does that mean? So if you feel that I can't marry you, who then do you feel that will marry you?
Yeah, we. I don't know, I don't know. Hope you're okay. I think there's something wrong with that girl. Oh, you finally agreed with me. What do you mean, finally agreed with you? I told you we should look for something to tell the princess, but you insist we must track them. Obiakwe, you know what? What we did is the right thing. It's against the oath we took as guard mm. to lie to the princess. Mm. Even Medi have pumped Demo into us. Obiakwe, sometimes you begin to talk like a baby. Nobody pumped Demo into us. We are masquerade. Let's go. We are one people. I've taken my time to analyze the whole situation and I can tell you for free without fear of contradiction that you have everything to solve the problem. You call me your love, yet you partner with my enemies to frustrate me. How have I frustrated you? You were angry and I know your actions were based on your anger. Most times, not all the times, when we act in anger, we make mistakes. Obina, I made it clear that I do not want to entertain visitors from Dioka Kingdom. You know this rule, yet you decided to break it. Why would you come with your noble of Dioka to visit me? What were you thinking? That's because of the tension in the land. And you didn't have to. There is no tension in the land. The stupid prince of Dioka Kingdom, young Escobar, kidnapped my sister. But I am going to tell him that there is something in the Kinga Kingdom that is more powerful than the occultism. Well, I, I was wondering why you are avoiding us to involve the police in this. It has already escalated into a full... Obina, please stay out of this case. I am on top of this matter. Hmm? Besides, I need no distractions. Let others come, please. Okay. Yes, she is. Now I know that there are forces that watch over the palace. What do you mean by that? Since that afternoon, Princess Maureen pushed me into sin. I've known no peace. Cynthia, I don't know you as a talkative in this palace. But right now, we don't understand whatever you are saying. What do you mean by Princess Maureen pushed you into sin? Even the chief priest we all respect so much. Who walks with this aroma in him? He's not a man of integrity. <sighs> What has the chief priest got to do with this? Like I said before, Cynthia, you don't talk too much. But right now, I don't believe you understand the gravity of what you are saying. How dare you question the integrity of our chief priest? How? Do you know what you said just now can cost your life? Yes, it can cost your life, Cynthia. It's okay. Just, just, just listen to me. Listen to me. Let me say this. It was actually Princess Maureen who poisoned the king. <laughs> Wait, that same allegation that made Ned to leave the palace? Are you a child? It's not a mere allegation. I was actually the person who served the king the poisoned apple he ate that night. 
See, when the princess noticed that the chief priest would be involved in this, she went ahead to bribe him. Cynthia, I'm finding this difficult to understand. Can you say this before the princess? Knowing the gravity of what you're saying, can you say this before the princess? I am not talking because I want to talk. And it's not because I talk too much. The forces in this palace are tormenting me. I want to see the truth and be free. Then go ahead and tell the king. This is not good at all. Why would the chief prince allow himself to be bribed? See, that day he came, he walked into the palace with a fake offer. That was why Princess Maureen swore to it and she never died. Fake offer? If what you've just said now is the truth, that our chief priest will never die well. I swear to God. There was an attempt to turn me off in this palace. What? All this while I've been sick, I was poisoned. Poisoned by someone who should not even have thought of it. Father, who did this? Who could that person be? Who had the audacity, the impetus to try to take the life of Igor Basi, of Ikenga Kingdom? Father, such person deserves to rot in the deadliest part of prison. So I need to know who this person is. If not for the forces that keep watch over this palace, I'd have been dead before now. Father, who is this person? Who is this human? Adese. Yes, Father. That person is you. this to my father. You know this is his favorite, right? Yes. Good. Go! Okay. And stop shaking. Cynthia, what is it? My princess, there is bad news. What news? Neddy, the kitchen assistant, told me about the poisoned apple. <laughs> she did what? How did she find out? I don't know. I never told anyone about this. That girl is so mysterious. There is something about her that I can't place my finger on. She's possessed with something. No, no, no. This is this is not right. This is not right. Hold on. Are you sure about what you just said to me? Yes, she said that to me. But I have a plan. I want to go and meet your new and tell him about this, thereby putting her on the spot before the villagers would know about this. Hold on. So you're going to lay, say she laid false accusations on me? Yes. 
That's good. Hmm. Good. Do you see why I like you? You have little sense. You have little sense. Why are you still standing here? Go, what are you waiting for? Go, quickly! You see, I invited you here for this talk alone. Because I want to know the reasons behind your actions. I want to know what, what, what led you to poison the king of the Kenga kingdom. How could you be so wicked? How did you get to this point? What, 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 what possessed your mind to commit such an evil? I am not wicked, Father. I am not evil. I know you might not believe this. But you and my sister are the most important people in my life. I love you two so much. I love you two so deeply. People might think I am strong, wicked, and almighty, evil, no nonsense princess. But that is just the front. Because, on the contrary, deep down in my heart, I am just a baby. So I have to put up such front to defend myself. May the gods forbid that I take the life of my father. I can never do such a thing. I only wanted to incapacitate you. But I wanted you to be mute, to be incapacitated, so I can be able to do what I want to do. Because I know if you were strong, and all yourself, you would have married off Chison to Nelson, and that would happen over my dead body. That is why I did what I did. Who is this Nelson to you? Look, I want you to open up to me. I want you to, to, to pour out your heart. This pain that you have bottled up for so long in your heart, for too long, in fact, that has led you to commit evil upon evil, evil after evil. Why? Tell me. be wondering why I did what I did. I am not evil. Why I am the way I am. But I am not wicked. I am not evil. This is my story. Professor, should I understand it to mean that the school authority is under the cultist power? I have not said that, but... Wait, 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 wait. There is no need for you to explain your reason. This guy has made my life terrible in this campus. 
As a matter of fact, he has set up a structure to frustrate me every day. Constantly, I am living in fear in this school. I'm no longer concentrating on studies or anything. And I put this case to you because I believe the school authority is in the best position to handle this, this, this situation. And now you're telling me this. Unfortunately, there is little or nothing I can do about it. Young Descoba, as you said, has created a frightening structure on the campus. His case has come up twice in the Senate, and twice it has been dropped. Why? Are you saying he is not law unto himself? No, he is not law unto himself. Unfortunately, the law enforcement authorities we can run to seem to have been compromised. Once you mention his name, they all develop cold feet. I, I hate the system. The ordinary person will be trampled on and the system cannot do anything about it. This is not fair. Let me even ask you, what does he want? What else does he want if not to sleep with me? And he's going about it the wrong way, the, the, the most insulting way ever. I believe the system should be able to do something to protect you on this campus. Give me two days. The same system you said has been compromised. Give me two days. We'll see what we can do about it. Thank you for your time, Professor. You're welcome. Thank you. You can't resist me on this campus and have peace. Why are you this terrible? You asked the woman out and she said no. Now you are intimidating her with your cult. Yes, because no one says no to young Escobar. I'm the king of this campus. This campus belongs to me. Whatever I want, I get. Oh, you will not get me. I will never have anything to do with you. For your information, I'm a princess. I will never have anything to do with loose lives on this campus, especially you. I know you're a princess. I know you're a descent. And that's why I want you as a scuba's blood tonic. It's either I have you or I will frustrate you out of this campus. That's a period. You can only have me in your dreams. That's the only place it can happen. I know the dream. I know the dream. But you must be mine. There you go. Your papa gave me a See by the way you carry come. Stand up there. I've received that. They're mad. I mean, you want you, you, you want to use me shy for these camps? My friend, shut up. You see this walk? I don't carry on for head, not for here. So that how I won't put you for trouble because just do like this. You do mad. You don't use me shy. For your information, now maybe Escobar. Nobody's using for these camps. You don't understand? This seat where you sit down, many people don't sit here. What, what? What have I done? Oh, nice question. I will tell you what you've done, but before then, let me update you. I know where your daughters live in the island. And I know where your mother lives. No meet them. If I can if I visit her, my baby soup. No, no. If I visit her in anger. 
I could put your heart to pieces. Once they bring my case to your table, die it. Do you fucking understand? Yes. yes. No matter yes. the name, once they mention my name, die it. Else I will make this seat so hot and uncomfortable for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They mad. She said everybody did they help? No. Help her. No be everybody, no be everybody to the head. Make you not go die where you want help. Once they bring my case to this table, die it. Okay. Do you fucking understand? Yes, yes, I do. The next time I visit, I will carry my baby come. And that will be your last day. Ah, no, no. Oga, okay. see for this campus, mind your business. If you love your life, mind your business. Don't be shoot me at the mama fly. Don't they carry this work for her. They're mad. How can I go buy my mother? The next time you stress me, I swear I will chop you into pieces. No jokes. Ask questions. My baby is Kuba. They hear me? Mind your business, else I will make you my business. And you know what that means. You're mad. You want the phone help for my mother? Don't be everybody to the help. If they bring my case for your people, die. You know, me? No matter what in the car come for your table, once you hear my name, it, I say what it died. Okay. Else I will start from your mother in the village. Oh. Professor, that fool has threatening to go dirty on me if I don't do what he wants. I don't know what he, what he has in stock for me. But I'm scared. I am no longer safe in this campus. But the last time I was here, you said you were going to do something about it. So I, I came to find out if you have done anything about it. Maureen, I've been thinking. Is it not better you go for the option of peace? I don't understand. What do you mean? Can't you give him what he wants? Prof. Prof, I cannot believe you just said that to me. I am equally sorry. Very sorry saying this to you. But I feel it will solve the problem. Nobody will know what happened. And you will graduate without stress. There is something I need to understand about the security of this country. Yet we have men and women parading themselves as security agents. I thought your concern should be how to get young Escobar off your back. Why are you talking about how law else, enforcement agencies? How else am I going to get that useless son of a cow off my back? If not with the law enforcement agencies. Clearly, they are not doing their job. The people who are supposed to protect the people and properties are not doing their job. That is why someone like Young Escobar can take full control of this campus and nobody, not even a single person, is doing anything about it. You sound as if it is something new. Well, that is his stocking trade. He's like chameleon, always changing, coming up with new ways to frustrate and torment me in this campus. Which is why I am thinking of leaving this, this country. You, you didn't just say that? Of course I did, Ella. Wait, you mean you want to depart from the country just because of young school? Ella, what would you have me do? Like I said, this guy is a chameleon. I don't know what this guy has in stock for me. I don't know what his next in line, his next line of action will be. 
I don't know if I wake up tomorrow and step into the camp or somebody's going to waylay me and get me molested. Because obviously that, that might be what he would do. So before he, he does something silly, I have to, I have to get out. I have to be far from here. But you're not the only one under his watch. Why would you be the one to run first? Ella, can you help me break into his network and find out what he is planning? Why do you think I can do that? Because I saw you talking to one of his boys yesterday on campus. Ella, listen. We are one step closer. All I need from you is to get close to this guy. Find a way to find out what he is planning for me. you just told me the truth or something you just said to scare me away? Ah, Maureen, you know me too well to know that I don't say anything when I'm not sure. Okay. You asked me to get information from Romanos, right? Yes. He did that already. And what their plan is, is what I told you. To stop me from taking second semester examinations. How does it favor them? I mean, what do they stand to gain? You are asking what a group of court members stand to gain. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Marie. Don't be ridiculous. Ella, don't say that. Really don't. Because I I I, I don't get it. They want to stop me from taking examinations next semester. So how, I mean, how is it going to favor them? How are they going to gain from me not writing examination next semester? But really, what is their gain? Huh? Wait, you are asking? Because I, I don't get it. Oh, okay. They have frustrated you by adding an extra year to you. Yes. So, the act of frustrating people is what they stand to gain. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what they stand to gain. And that's why they are cultists. that that son of a beast will not just let me be. I really don't know what I did wrong to deserve this. Did, did, did he do anything again? The son of a cow was here today. He came here to show me pictures of my nudes that he has in his phone. It's a lie. I am not lying, Ella. I saw it. How did he get your nude? I don't know because he showed it to me and not just one, not two, not three, a lot of it. <laughs> Wait. Oh God. That's what I'm asking. Where did he get your nude from? Because I know very well, I can vouch for you that you've never been intimate with this guy. You... You see that glasses he always have on? Yes. The glasses is always wearing. Yes. It's a special made. What the glasses does is it's it sponges your, your clothes. Keeps you stuck naked. 
And then, and that son of a cow has a camera that is connected to that glasses that is always in his pocket. So all those while that this guy haunts me in campus to talk trash, to, 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 to frustrate my life, what he was actually doing was taking pictures of me naked. And he has a lot of it, plenty of it in his phone. I, I saw it. Oh God, this, this is really shocking. How can one go this far? As a matter of fact, as I am talking to you right now, he came today with that glasses and I'm sure he took more pictures. How did I get to know what he was doing? I confronted him and then he opened up and told me what he has been doing and then showed me pictures on his phones. So it's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four. I mean, pictures of me naked and there is nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it. God, oh God. What, what does he want from you? Why are you asking dumb questions? What kind of dumb question is that? What he has always wanted. Of course he wants to sleep with me or he uploads the picture online. Well, now, you, now you see why I am devastated. Now you see why I am troubled. Because I, I don't understand why all this is happening to me. Why me? What? Girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, but, but, can't you just get down with him and be free from all of this? Hella, what did you just say? I'm just being real. I mean, I know some students in the past that had to give in to his demand just for their, just you know, just to have this peace of mind. Now I just confirmed you're not worthy of being my roommate. You're not worthy of being in this room with me. Jesse. Yes, Your Majesty. Go and um, call the room for me. Tell him it is urgent. I want to see him right away. Go. Yes, Your Majesty. My angel, you look so moody and troubled. What can the matter be? I'm afraid there is bad news, Father. Bad news? Then let me hear it immediately. Kelvin has called off his engagement with my sister. Why? Why would he do that? I don't know, Father. <sighs> Apparently, he broke up with her and she's been crying about it. <sighs> Why would Kelvin do such a thing? I was under the impression that both of them were in love and uh, wanted to get married. Exactly. I don't know what went wrong and I could barely hear a thing she was saying. She was crying so bitterly, Father. I can't remember the last time I saw or heard her cry like that. I've been trying to call her back and she's not even peeking. I'm extremely worried because I don't nah. want anything to happen to my sister. No, don't worry, nothing will happen to her. Hmm? Oh, let me make this go. Yeah. What is this bad news that I'm hearing? Hello, yeah, Mori. Listen, 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 please. I want you to listen to me carefully. Come back to Nigeria. Yes. I want you to come back. Okay. Yes. Uh, listen, I know that. I know that. Okay. Yeah, yes. He broke your heart. Fine. But then, you are a princess. There's no way you can run away from your uh, fatherland. Is it? Listen. You have to come back and finish your degree program. Now listen. Forget about him. Hey, my daughter. You 
are a strong woman. Strong and steely woman. You're strong. You took after me. Good. So come back and finish your degree program. Forget about him. You understand what I'm saying? Forget about him. Come back to Nigeria and uh, finish your program. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Looking forward to seeing you, huh? All right. Listen, big sis. This is not the end of the world. You cannot put your life on pause because he ended the relationship. Yes. Of course I know it is not the end of the world. You can trust me on this. You know what I think? It's about time you come home. I know what I'm talking about. It's not going to make a difference as long as you keep calling and texting and begging him. You're doing all of this because you're all by yourself out there and you're lonely. But then if you return to Nigeria, you'll feel better. Yes, big sis, because we care about you so much. We will shower you with all the love that you need and deserve. Father has been very worried about you. And now I'm getting even more worried because you're out there by yourself. I know. I know it's difficult. Which is why I'm asking that you return to Nigeria. You will feel better as soon as you do. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's not the end of the world, sis. Listen, you just have to come to Nigeria. As soon as you step your feet back home, you'll be okay. So are you promising to come? No, you have to promise me you're coming. Please, big sis. I like the sound of that. <laughs> you know I love you so much, right? Everyone here loves you, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, she agrees. <laughs> I can't wait to hug you. Mm -hmm. Very well then. Promise me you're not going to cry again. You can't promise me that. Why, sis? I know, but you have to try. You're stronger than this. I promise. Oh, I love you. Okay. Yes, I look forward. Mm hmm <laughs> Bye. I'm expecting you. Okay. <sighs> Gosh. <sighs> this must be so hard on her. But why are some men so cold-hearted? Almost five years of being in a healthy relationship and he ended it just like that? And it's not as if she cheated on him. Anyway, I'll get the chance to see my sister again. Can't wait to spoil her with love.
か。Why are you not sleeping yet? I'm worried. Why? Is anything the matter? Your sister. <sighs> you know, I I know she is not herself right now, and um, I don't know exactly what she'll be doing. Oh, father, you worry too much. I'm sure she's going to be fine. My sister, I know, cannot do anything to hurt herself. I've been speaking with her on phone since then, and she promised to be back any time from now. Really? Yes, father. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Honestly, I'll be so happy to see her back in this palace. Likewise, father. Huh? I have yeah. missed her so much. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, good girl. Thank you, Father. Well, Father, mm. it's about time you get some rest. So I'll walk you to your room and put you to sleep. Yeah, I still can't sleep. Father, why? Mm. I've just told you she'll be fine. You don't trust me. No, why not? <laughs> You're like your mother. <laughs> you always think yeah, I'm a little that, girl, yeah. but I can't, Father. Try mm. me. You promised me you were going to stop thinking about Kevin. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Why? You know, a man named Escobar told me I was going to lose Kelvin. At that point, I thought he was joking. Said I was going to lose Kelvin, and that he is the only one in this life that will marry me. What? I didn't take him serious. I thought he was joking, and now I have lost Kelvin. He wasn't joking after all. Who is this man? What gave him such audacity to do this to a princess? You have to report him to father. He'll pay. And this is also why you need to stop keeping things away from us. We are your family. But then you always keep things to yourself and end up suffering alone. You're too discreet, sister. Please, open up to us. Always. It's okay, sis. 
I'll be fine. Okay? But as for Escobar, Escobar, you inflicted this pain in my heart. But believe me when I tell you, you will hear from me soon. I'll see you soon. Trust me when I see you. I will see you pretty soon. Sister. I honestly think it's about time. You let go of Kelvin. I know it's hard, but you have to try. Prices to forget everything about him, please. And as for this dude, guy, boy, man, whatever he is, he does have to pay for doing this to a princess. Report him to father. Don't worry, sis, I can handle him. I can handle Escobar. Are you sure? this line. Let me ring this line and see if it rings. His phone is ringing. It's, it's actually ringing. Hello? Hello, Nelson. Is this Nelson? Young Escobar. Nelson, I wish you dead. All my life, all I pray for you is to die and rot in the deepest part of hell. I wish you die and rot for what you did to me, for destroying my life, for destroying my degree program, my friends, everything that mattered to me. I wish you die and rot and the vultures, they feed on you because you deserve nothing good. You deserve to die. And that's exactly what I am praying for you every day of my life. Did you just say okay? Did you just answer me okay? Nelson, I will see you Sunday. A day that is not too far from now very soon and trust me it will be my turn to laugh
of a cow? What's the reason I never graduated from any Nigerian university? He frustrated me so much that even the law enforcement agencies could not do anything to me. The author of the Kenga Kingdom could have taken care of him. The author could have put him in his place. Why didn't you mention this to me? I was given the impression that my nude was scattered all over the public domain. That I had to leave the country in a hurry. I didn't wait to find out if it was true or not. Egoot came to marry my sister. And I knew you would have you would have just succumbed and, and handed her over to him. You were going to marry her off to him. I had to put you to a halt. I did not do what I did because I wanted to kill you. I did it because I wanted to save my sister. I wanted to save this family. Because I hate him. I hate him. Father. I am sorry. I am sorry. But I was hot. I am still hot. And I am very bitter. The last thing I want to happen in this family is for that cow to marry my sister. So I had to do what I did. I am sorry. You went too far. You have no right. Absolutely no right to take a life you cannot create. You, you and my, my priestess have Hurt me so much. You, you have, you have, you have caused me so much pain. I am so sorry, Father. Father, please forgive me. I did what I did because I did not want to grant Jesus' wish. I didn't want her to marry Nelson. I don't want it to ever happen. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> A hunter came to me and my late wife, Queen Susan. He told us on his way to check his trap. He saw a basket, a beautiful basket, kept by the side of the road on the way to the stream that belongs to his hometown. Out of curiosity, he advanced to take a good look at the basket. And behold, right inside the basket was a baby sleeping. Beautiful baby. He took the baby to us. My wife rejected the baby. Could have been a sacrifice, could have been uh, and a, a cursed infant. So she rejected the baby. Did not want anything to do with that child. But I stood my ground. I'm the man of the house after all. So I took the baby from the hunter and thanked him. After all, then we were still barren. We had no child after years of marriage. 
I saw, it, I saw it as a blessing. Four years later, my wife gave birth to Chisum. But unfortunately, she died in the process. That child in the basket was you. Me. Do not make me regret my actions, my benevolence. Accepting you into my home, making you my daughter when you are not, making you a princess. I love you. I love you as much as I love Jason, my daughter. But you, you, you have, uh, you have betrayed me. You have, you have caused me pain. You have, you have, you and my, and my, my, my chief priest have turned the abominable. You have, you have caused me pain that, that, that will lead, lead to my death. I will banish you from my kingdom. Father. You do not deserve to call me father. Father. Where is Jesus, my daughter? to be that you are doubting me that would be suicidal because you are the only one I trust in this circle sister I do not doubt you honestly trust me I don't doubt you listen now I have made consultations and I have made some analysis and all are pointing at one direction. I met a soothsayer, and he is still saying the same thing. And what is he saying? That I am the cause of the problem? How is that even possible? You and I know that Nelson is not my biological son, but he has grown to become my son. There is no woman anywhere under the face of this earth that will know the solution to her son's problem and will not do something about it. It is not as if you know and decided to keep mom. Mm -mm. You may be acting on ignorance and that is the more reason I said you should accompany me to the seer. Let us go and meet the seer. He has a lot to tell you. He has a lot of explanations to all this. That is where we are going to have problem. Yes, that is where we are going to have problem. I am not going to play into their hands by going to visit Adibia. And who said Asiya is Adibia? What difference does it make? Sister, Asiya is Asutseya. He is not Adibia. He does not prepare charms. Let us go. Oh, follow me. He will explain to you. There are certain things you need to understand. Bikono. Oh, Uloma, I still insist. I am not going to play into their hands. It is not about them. It is about your son that they are trying to deny his rightful position in his father's kingdom. Do 
Don't you get it? Let us go. He will explain things to you the way you will understand. Let us go. Now listen to me, Ulama. And listen very good. In case you've forgotten, let me remind you that my husband was a king. And my son, Nelson Chima, will become king. There is no soothsayer or anyone anywhere in this world that is going to change that. Don't let them deceive you. They have eyes, but they can see. How can a priest be so confused? The bond between the mother and the son. The queen is not telling us the truth. The son is her blood. The priests have eyes, but they cannot understand a simple mystery. I pray for the speedy recovery of my dear friend, Prince Nelson. What do you say? I am also happy you got the information that Nelson sees me at the palace and you decided to do nothing. What do you want me to do? Close eyes, they say, breeds insult. I am so sure that he wouldn't have seized you had it been you gave him the gap here, the wires. No, but you decided to be so close to me. I could not have given him that gap. His late father extracted a promise from me to guide him. And I am not one of those men who will relent on the promises made to the dead. If you, the one we hold in high esteem, the one we still refer to as the seer of Dioka Kingdom. If you are referring to Silas Ibizim as Nelson's father, that means I have a very big problem. What problem do you speak of? His late father called him son. They both shared father and son relationship. And why should we separate them now? You know, I am actually getting involved in this because the young man wants to become king. How can a stranger come and become king in a town where somebody like me lives? That's not possible. You know, had it been he went for something else, I wouldn't have bothered. But he decided to target the office of the king. And somebody has to resist him, and that is what I'm doing. And what tells you that Nelson is not from this land? You see, eh, for what I have gathered, there is an important revelation that the gods and the ancestors of this land want to make using you. But they are not doing that because you have, you have given your soul to money. Is it possible for you to reinvent yourself? I mean, is it possible for you to shun love for money and go back to the same seer we used to know so that you can be the one who will give us this all important revelation? Can you? And what other revelations do you speak of? Okay, okay. A king is coming, and the secret shall be revealed to all men in this palace. Yes. I know you hate me so much, and... Helen, point of correction. I don't hate you. I hate the fact that you are trying so hard to frustrate my life. On the contrary, I have an information that will help you trace where your father came from.
You do? Yes. Tell me about it. At least, let me in. There's a special maid in the palace of Ikenga that can help you trace your origin. The palace of Ikenga is a place I know very well. Like, very well. That would be right to even call me a stakeholder in that palace. There is no, there's no special maid at that. Who then do you speak of? The maid who accused Princess Morin of poisoning her father. Her name is Neid and she has the gifts of the gods. She can help you with this. Helen, I'm so disappointed in who you have become. Please don't dismiss what I'm saying. What are you saying? What are you saying? What have you even said? You have succeeded in wasting my time. And I'm not happy about it. Obina, I remember you once told me if you knew your father, you would have been greater than this. So what is, what is happening? And that explains why you have to come up with this. Oh. Helen, the same maid who confirmed the fact that she didn't know what she said is who you are asking me to go and meet to help solve my problem. No. Please. Oh, Obina. Obina, please do not dismiss her without trying. I gathered the information that, that she's back to the palace. Why not give it a try? Something good might happen from there. Obina, please. From what I know, this issue of not knowing your father is really disturbing you. And then you and I have discussed this at a point. We decided to leave things for God. Phillips, I'm happy you remember. I've given up already. <coughs> My mother goes emotional each time I raise the topic. She goes to remind me how everyone wanted her to get rid of the pregnancy and how she blanks everyone, fought against all forces to give birth to the child. So I don't want to bother her anymore. I've resigned to fate if it pleases God to reveal my true identity and where I come from. So, please. Uh, so tell me, Obino, why Will you dismiss the meat Helen told you about? Phillips, don't be ridiculous. Come on. I know the maid in question. How old is she? For her to be the one to, that will tell me my story, where I come from, and my root. How? If I'm getting you right, is it her age you're having problem with? Or you're questioning the gifts of the gods in her life, Obina. Phillips, I don't want to talk about this again. Please. Please. Just let me be the way I am. Obina. You see this maid issue here? Maybe Joko. Obina. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Stop speaking abomination into my ears. How could you kidnap your own sister? Your own sister? And then turn around to accuse innocent people? Father, they are not innocent. I did this because I wanted to save the image of this family. Besides, I didn't kidnap Chisum. I kept her in a safe place, away from their evil eyes. You are making me regret so many things. So many things. Father, I am sorry. Please. Father, more importantly, we need to salvage the Prince of Dioka. It has been revealed that he needs me to become normal again. Will you stop mentioning that, that idiot's name here? What is wrong with you? 
Or do you want me to slap it out of you? Fabla! Fabla, what is wrong with this girl? Why is she calling his name here? Will you stop this? Will you stop playing God over your own sister? <laughs> Fabla! Fabla, what is it? Fabla, what is it? Let me get you water. No, 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 no it's okay, sir. Father, should I call in the doctors? Father, please. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. It's okay, it's okay. But you, you. Father, please. It's okay. You have to stop fighting everybody. The gods are revealing so many things to us. And you, I don't see how you can stop the gods. Because you can't. I am sorry, Father. This is not going to happen. Adez, I know where you're coming from. But I'm going to tell you that your fears have been demystified. I'm here for something serious. I have no idea of what you're talking about. But one thing I am sure of is you brought my sister here because you have agreed to marry her off to Nelson. But Father, let me tell you, that is going to happen over my dead body. Over the years, we have underrated Nede. Everything she said, we dismissed with a mere wave of the hand. But I have discovered that in her dwelleth all the visions of our ancestors. How do you mean? Because I have no idea how Nedi got into this conversation. How did you manage to smuggle in Nedi into this conversation? We are talking about you marrying my sister off to a beast, to, 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 to a son of a cow. I will tell you what she told me that made me come here. It has nothing to do. I had a dream about you last night. It was made clear to me that you are the embodiment of the visions of our ancestors. That is why I called you. I am happy you called me my king. Chisom and Prince of Dioka are not destined to be man and wife. How do you mean? Both of them are in love and um, I have decided to allow them to get married. Blood may marry blood in other kingdoms on earth. But the sacredness of our journey will not allow that happen in Igbo land. My king, I see blood. And the blood has cancelled the marriage. What blood are you talking about? The blood that has crippled every effort to bring them together as man and wife. Their relationship is a build up to something. It will be revealed to you when you visit the palace of Dioka Kingdom. I made further inquiries and I discovered that the confusion in Dioka is because the prince they are planning to make king is not from Dioka. I don't know somebody. Says who? Says who? No, tell me. Says who? Mother of Dioka Kingdom. 
This woman was my very first love. What? Listen, I am not interested in this love story. I heard when you said that I am a royal crown prince. Please, can you expatiate on that? I was ordered to come here by forces mightier than me. Now I know why. They want me to explain the mystery. And who the hell are you to explain mystery to us? Who is this thing? This man here is the king of Ikenga. He has a son whom men of Dioka have labored to make king but failed. Sir, you are the son. Huh? Oh, oh. Well, how do you say he is my son? Well, you just called the king your first love. When you both parted with, you left her with pregnancy. Hmm? Should I? Who, 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 who is this maiden? Just answer the question. When he left, you found out you were pregnant for him. And you gave birth to twins. Who is this maiden and she knows so much. She is the one with all the visions and revelations of her ancestors. Now answer the question. When she says you had twins for me, is it true? The twins were separated at birth. The female child found herself as the princess of Ikenga, while the male child, the prince of Dioka. Hey, what? This makes no sense. <laughs> this makes absolutely no sense. The same person who frustrated me so badly forced me out of this, this country. Same person I have perfected plans to send to, 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 to prison. You are telling me this man is my brother. Not just my brother, my... My twin brother! How? Yes. He is your twin brother. The queen here cannot explain how it happened. The royal heads of Dioka found him as a child and took him in. About the same time, the late queen lost her pregnancy and died afterwards. My queen, your son was not just named as their son. The king hired you to look after this child while her sister was already the princess of Ikenga. Hi. Hey. Hmm. Now I understand what Dinka has been saying. Now I know the reason everything failed. I know you are talking about the one that was being locked up. Yes, he saw it. But the ancestors did not reveal it to him clearly. My queen, if you doubt me, you can go for DNA. I've heard about the special maid who narrated everything. I've equally made up my mind to go see her to see if, if she, she could possibly help tell my story of where I come from. 
since you believe so much in the maiden, why didn't you rush to go see her the moment you learnt about her? I was trying to be sure of things around here. But after she revealed um, the story about the Prince of Dioka and the Princess being twins, a revelation that has been confirmed, scientifically correct. I made up my mind to go see her, to know if she could tell me where I come from. Well, there is no need to go see her again, okay? because someone mightier than her is here. That's you. Please. What do you know? I'm eager to know my origin. Something tells me that if I know where I come from, my life will turn around. Why are you looking at me like that? You think what I'm saying is a lie or something? Your mother is the only one who will confirm this information. No, no, please, please. Leave my mother out of this. My mother has no idea where my father comes from. I have made up my mind not to even discuss that with her anymore. For every time I bring this up with my mother, she is left emotionally wrecked. So please. Let us not dwell on sentiments as one willing to be king. Let us not allow sentiment to overtake us. What do you mean? Call your mother. Let her answer some questions. From the answers she gives, you will be able to find out the truth. I want you to know that the princess of Ikenga loves you so much. She has been willing to become your wife and has not been able to do so because of the twist of the gods. What do you mean by twist of the gods? Good. Your mother did not lie when she told you that the man who fathered you died in an accident. That was how the gods wanted it. They wanted it to remain that way until they are able, or rather willing, to reveal it. What are you talking about? Hmm? The news has gone round that you are literally confusing the people. And that was why the Detroit Prince locked you up. Are you here to confuse my son, Nicole? The man who was reported to have died in an accident 35 years ago actually died last year. Please, I need you to explain everything that there is. Everything. The girls used string mace to prevent Nelson from becoming the king of Dioka. Uh, we all know that. Like I already said, what has that got to do with my son and I? What? He was dethroned so that the true heir who is the rightful prince to emerge. Um, please, how do you mean? Don't cover anything, just open it all. The man who got your mother pregnant in Carcino during the youth call actually became the king of Dioka. What? Silas, Ibizim. My goodness, that's the name. Yes, I remember, that's the name. He was the king of Dioka until he died last year. The accident affected him so much that he could no longer impregnate a woman. But before he died, the messenger of the gods told him, or rather the maiden king of Dioka because the messenger of the gods told him that he has a son who will one day come back at the right time. And that son is you. The God 
courts must have a reason why they allowed all that to happen. If not, it wouldn't have happened. Now that the reality of my actions has dawned on me, I feel so empty inside. I feel... I feel this void. Why would you say something like that? All these years we've been fighting each other without knowing we are twins. Now that we are back and never to separate, we should be happy about that. Nelson, there is nothing to be happy about. I poisoned our father. I poisoned him to make him weak so he would not hand over Chisum to you. I've heard all that. But after poisoning him, he is still alive. That simply shows that the gods are aware of everything that has been happening. I don't think they are aware of this. Because the poison is gradually killing our father. This morning I was with him, he vomited blood. That was why I had to call in the doctors. I feel, I, I, God, I feel so bad. I feel so bad knowing I'm the reason this man is going through all this pain. And it's killing me inside. Listen, I understand how you feel perfectly. But I want you to know that all that happened because of the twist of the gods. So let's look up and hope for a better tomorrow. Honestly, I never wanted to come back to this palace. But the king reached out to me himself and insisted that I, Ned, must come back to the palace. <laughs> Will I disobey the king? No. no. Mm -mm. I have no option than to come back here. And here I am. <laughs> you don't have to disobey the king. Of course. I'm really happy for you, Ned. You, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Did you just say that? Please, don't even make it appear like you are happy for me. Uh -huh. You are not. I know your state of mind. But it's okay. It's well. Mm. I know, right? I can sense the feeling. But see, Nedi, I'm deeply sorry for everything. Please <laughs> leave me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I accept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Wait. <laughs> I have an important question, which is what is going on between you and the Jay-Z in this palace? To the extent that he even came out fully for you. <laughs> Not you know. He said he is moved in his spirit to help me. And that is yeah. it. He's just a good man. To the extent of him taking you to his grandmother's house. Or uh, is there anything special he's you know, planning with <laughs> uh -uh. Please, my dear, some questions are better left unanswered. I do not have answer to this your question. Thank you. What do you ask? So, girls, what has been happening in the palace since I left? Hey, my lord. I came to know how prepared you are. How, how do you mean? What preparation are you talking about? It's been confirmed that I'm the son of the late king of the Oka kingdom. Not just the son of the late king of the Oka kingdom, but the only one who came from his loins. For he lost his manhood through accident after he had you. 
Even our late queen got pregnant through another man. She died because she was trying to impose it on the late king. Okay. So, what preparation are you talking about? What do you want me to do? For you to become the crown prince who will later become the king of the Oka kingdom. We will expose you to the Ogidi of the Oka kingdom. Ogidi? I don't know what that means. It's a crucial ritual that must be performed by one who will become king. The dethroned prince did not go through this because our late king intentionally made him avoid it. Okay, does it mean he was aware that the, that the dethroned prince wasn't his biological son? It's a possibility. And also, maybe the reason the ghost never allowed us to crown him king. Okay, Ono, oh brief me about this ritual. What do I need to do? Nothing. Just make yourself available tomorrow. I will take you to the chief priest where you will lift the Ogidi. And once you are stable with the Ogidi on your head, then you will be declared the crown prince of the Oka kingdom. And your coronation comes with the full moon. Oh no, just that. Just the way it is. And I'm stable. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I can't boast of knowing the ritual of Ogidi. But I'm confident that I'm ready for it. <laughs> the girls cannot bring me this far. And let me chicken out. Hey, it is said that blood does not lie. The more you speak, the more I see our late king in you. Get ready for tomorrow. I forgive you. Thank you, yes. Father. Thank you, Father. I free you from every guilt. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As your father and your king, by the powers vested in me, I bless you this day. He said, You shall be happy and fruitful in your husband's family. He said, You shall be blessed in every way. He said, In all ramifications of life, you shall be blessed. He said, you shall see your children and your grandchildren, even your great-grandchildren. You see. Thank you, Thank you Father. so much, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You will be happy in your husband's house, <laughs> sir. Yes, Father. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's let him rest, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Father, I will come back to check up on you. It's okay. okay. I'll see you later. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing is that he was able to perform all the rituals that made you the prince, the crown prince of Ikenga kingdom before he passed on. Oh no. It's painful that I grew up without a father. 
our siblings. Only for me to find my father and settle with him. Then he passes away. It's quite unfortunate. But that's the will of the gods. It's the will of the gods. So why are you saying I can't see my late father's remains? My prince, you cannot. You are going to be the king of the Kenga kingdom. And that means you are not allowed to see the remains of any dead person. No, you can't. Including my father. Dead body is dead body. So what about his funeral arrangements? How far have we gone? Oh well, the elders are already on it. Mm -hmm. And so, I suggest you start to decide on the maiden you have as a wife to assume the throne of the Kenga kingdom. You must have a wife. You must have a wife. Oh no. My prince. Where can I find an emergency maiden? Simple. I feel you should look inwards mm. and look for a maiden that has the gifts of the gods. Yes. different. How do you mean? I am a king. And naturally, I am expected to be different. Father, even amongst kings, father, your difference is still clear. Now I will ask you to explain where you are coming from. You have just my sister and I, but you've never allowed it to bother you the way it bothers other men when they do not have a son. Only the one who questions the gods allows such thing to bother him. A female child is a child as much as the male child. <laughs> men who are men give their girls the support they need in life. A female child, from all I know, hardly disappoints. Oh, <laughs> father. <laughs> oh. Only few men reason the way you do. Thank you. <laughs> You're truly an honorable man. Thank you. And I'm extremely proud to be your daughter. Oh. I love you so much, father. I love you too, my daughter. <laughs> I really look forward to the day a suitor will come for your hand in marriage. Oh, Father, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Listen, <sighs> once you indicate interest that this is the man with whom I want to live my life, leave the rest to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, man. I love you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
what I did. There is no justification for what I did. But I am begging you for one who was once your sister. to forgive yourself. Please. I can't. Sister, you are the only family I have left. Jesus, oh my God. You have to, please. Jesus, oh my God. I can't. to me all of a sudden. I am still a maid in this palace. My dear, you are not just a maid. You are a special one with a special gift. <laughs> Have you forgotten you are the one who unraveled the mystery surrounding both kingdoms? 
thank you once again. My prince, I will not allow anyone to thank me for that. These things were deposited in my spirit and I spoke out. The gods should be praised. He said, I have promoted you from a maiden to a princess. A prince? My, my prince, you are confusing me. I am Nedi, one of the maidens in this palace. I know. But I have decided to promote you to the position of a princess. And I have instructed the palace accountant to pay in some money to your account. You have a dinner to attend. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you. I, I am so confused. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, Uh, you. I will not be here asking questions. Fate has smiled on you. So just take advantage of it, my dear friend. <laughs> I don't know why I am so confused. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> your beauty all this while. Thank you so much, my prince, for the promotion. Honestly, I appreciate you so much. You're I welcome. am so happy with my new self. Now that my coronation is around the corner, I feel that the Mary with a special gift from our ancestors is in the best position to pilot the affairs of this kingdom with me. Is it what I am thinking? Yes. Be my queen. And I will have no reason to fear because of your <laughs> special gift. My prince, honestly, I am speechless. I am always with you and yes, I will be your queen. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Who is destined to be the king? The one Silas he was in ball before he got destroyed in that accident. I know all this. What I don't know, however, is what you have come to do in my house. Like you said, I am the one who has lifted the Ogidi, the one who is going to become king. I came to solicit for your partnership. I need a man like you when I become king. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I was warned by many people not to visit you. They said many things. But I've taken my time to follow through all the things you have done. And I came to the conclusion that you were just looking for ways to better the kingdom. 
I appreciate the fact that you are saying this. I remain the most misunderstood man in the history of Dioka Kingdom. I told them that Nelson is not going to become king in this land because he's a stranger. They decided to fight me and impose him on the people. It backfired. How did you know that Nelson is not from this land? Men who are men ask questions. So many families are in ruins today because the men in those families do not ask questions. So many kingdoms are scattered because men in positions of authority in those kingdoms do not ask questions. I became curious when Silas Ibezim, the late king, was very desperate to impose Nelson as the crown prince of this kingdom without exposing him to the king. I started to ask questions and I found out that Nelson is not from this land. I confronted the king and instead of him to listen to me and solve the problem, he barred me from the cabinet and I decided there that I will be one man riot squad who will fight the blunder. I believe you know the rest. I plead with you to return to cabinet. If I must succeed as a king, I need a man like you. Please. You have my support already. I mean, you're already talking like a human being. And I am impressed. I gather your coronation is coming with the full moon. I will be there. Thank you. I will be there. I know you have so much to say, but I'll plead with you not to explain anything. I understand everything that happened. But I still owe you an explanation. All this while I was toying with your emotions. And now I have realized all the pain I put you through. No, 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 please, please, please. No, please. Obina, I am deeply sorry. I am, I am sorry for everything I did. Please forgive me. It's okay. My love, no matter what happened, you are still the princess of Ikenga. I won't allow you kneel before me. And you are not a commoner, so I can kneel before you. Remember, you are the crown prince of Tioka Kingdom, soon to be the king of the land. And that brings me to the reason I asked you to come. May I thank you? very sincerely for accepting to come once again. Honestly, Obina, life has humbled me. So many lessons were thought within this period of time. I know everything is for our good. That is to prepare us for a better tomorrow and face the challenges. You say the nicest things. You are so sweet with words. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And thank you for not giving up on me. My love. I couldn't have given up on you. You are the water that springs up from my desert. The light that shines in my dark world. And the only air that I breathe. It is confirmed 
that I'll be the king of the Yoga. All rituals have been performed and my coronation comes up with a full moon. So I ask you, is there any reason why you will not rule the kingdom with me when I become king? It's been a long time coming. And I will forever cherish this day. It's been a long time coming. And today will be the best day of my life. I will cherish it till I die. And yes, Obina, I will be your queen. For you are the best man ever. Thank you. Save my life, life, but you know, no, you're a man, a but you know, no. What if I give you love? Your love is what I need. What if I give you my heart? Your love is what I need. What if I give you love? Help me now 